What about the Spider Man hey, Mary Jane? I appreciate it. Mary Jane's not ginger enough for me to pick her up, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of more like brown hair to me. She's uh, she's not she's not pale enough, and there's not enough freckles. So I yeah, yeah, it's more like a dirty brown, dirty blonde kind of thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Oh shit, we're I, live. I oh yeah, it. we're live. Just talk about yourselves. Sorry. Yeah. I did, <laughs> I, I did <laughs> see it in person, Russ, at the <laughs> at the toy con. I did see it in person, and. <laughs> It's better than than it looks in pictures, but I'm just really yeah. No, I'm not. I don't need that, Mary Jane. I'm good. Yeah. Is the paint pretty sharp on the one you saw? Yeah. Yep. I, mean, yeah I, was I, saw one. The, I was looking at it in packages today, but I wasn't picking them up and looking at them real close. I was just kind of yeah. glancing at them. <laughs> well, it's funny, like in some of the Marvel Legends figures, and even some of the Black Series, like they, for the women figures especially, it looks like like their eyes are funky, man. They're like really like far apart. And like yeah. looking in different directions, but yeah. or sometimes um, they look, they both will look in a uh, direction, but it'll be like sideways. It's weird, dude. Yeah, but uh, yes. but no, in in person it looked much better. Yeah. So All right. Cool. Hey, Trent. Oh my God, you're here on time. <laughs> what? what the hell? Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's what, that's, I'm starting really late. Uh, been a while. Yo, trans man, what are you doing, man? You thought a monkey wrench in the whole goddamn thing, dude. Uh, <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, man. You showed up all the time. It's kind of crazy. Oh what? man! All right. Well, welcome to Plastic Fanatics, the late night aftercast. This is episode one thirty-eight, I believe. So, um, pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So, um, got a lot of stuff. We're gonna take a look at um, a lot of Transformer stuff because I skipped that last week. Um, whoops! <laughs> My bad. Um, but it would have been a longer show, so it's all it's all good. So um, let's get into some introductions. Any deposits to your collection? And um, yeah, go from there. So let's start off with Brian. Hey, everybody! What's up, man? How are you guys doing? Um, anybody here have like a four day weekend? Like, mm, nope. Because I know a lot of people nope. will take off Monday to you know get that four days, you know, all together. I, I'm not. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was just curious if anyone else was. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, let's see here. We got. Uh, I picked up uh, Calidus, the uh, nice. MMC Hot Rod, which is really really nice, man. It's a it's a it's a nice offering from MMC. Hey. It transforms uh, into a Batmobile. It's cool. It's <laughs> <laughs> a pretty cool Batmobile. That's yep. a cool yeah. Batmobile. <laughs> yep. So, um, yeah, if you're on the fence, um, I mean, get them. I mean, MMC, yeah. if there's still one gripe about them, they're still a little more expensive than what you would expect. But you know what? Stuff costs what it costs, and that's that. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I also picked up uh, – James, I, the, the name escapes me, but it's the uh, – it's the oh, blue repaint. Magnus yeah. Convoy. Oh, Prime. Yeah. Magnus Convoy. Yeah. Magnus Convoy. Thank you, Trent. Yeah. yeah. And it's really nice, man. They 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 chromed out the grill and bumper, which I wasn't expecting. Yeah. And even the guns are chrome, the smokestack things. Nice. Um, yeah. And uh, I really yeah. like that blue. It looks nice. Yeah. So yeah. I've sharp. I've had the uh, KO. It was the the was it the cold convoy i think with k cold with a k cold um, that was out yeah years ago i yeah. mean but that thing is loose and horrible and it's got the mush face and so i was really glad to have this and um i even i got to dig it out but uh when when i saw this was announced i went out and found the uh city commander uh set from fans project to go with him um it was the second release of that uh, where it's the trailer's mostly blue and it'll go along with these stripe. So, yeah, man. So um, it's um, I'm pretty excited. I, I like this this classic crime, man. I've got 13 of these. <laughs> I, love, I love it, man. I just I love this, man. You like that mold. Yeah, I love it. Wow. Yeah, I love it yeah. yeah, it's just it's great, you know. And that that city commander armor and all the other add-ons and stuff. Um, you know the. What the was it the G three trailer from Fans Project? I was, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm a sucker yeah. for all of that stuff. I've I've heard people say that that's probably one of the best Optimus Prime molds they've ever made. Yeah, ever I mean, um, that's I what I've heard people say about it. So yeah, a lot yeah. of the, the gripes are the panels on the arms, but you know you can you look past it after a while. You know, eh, so. panels whatever, man. That's all. That's just part of the show, dude. You're gonna get. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 
Actually, you know what? Uh, Fans Project, they announced another armor upgrade for this mold like years ago. And they had it on display at TFCon uh, Chicago last year, but we still haven't seen it. Even Kuma Style did a review on it. So as an out, that was so yeah, long ago. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, oh, so hopefully, the hopefully they haven't scratched that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think that's it. Um, I think that's it. Oh, uh, I, there was something else, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, well. Okay. Yep. Charles, how's it going? It's no, I just still trying to figure out what the hell happened to uh, our latest package from uh, from Amazon. But other than that, I got I picked up uh, the other day the uh, steelbook steelbook ver steelbook Blu-ray version of the O seven uh, Bayformer movie. Cool. How you mean the good one? We're gonna be talking about that later. On. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that we're calling we're gonna call that one the good one now. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, uh, to me, to, to me, the fourth one was the best one. Okay. Yeah. Age of Extinction. Yeah. Like that romance the law, huh? Cool. Anything else? No, just another movie, and then like I said, I'm uh, missing package from Amazon. That's that's it. Cool. Uh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to call somebody. Where's my shit? Yeah, I mean, you got Monday, and then you got the holidays. So yeah, it's gonna. Yeah. Yep. All right. Oh, Up yeah. next, birthday boy himself, Russ. How you doing? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> Turn that well, sixty-three you. years of age, right? Sixty-three. You sound like my kids. <laughs> going after uh, what? So scary soon. My daughter comes downstairs yesterday, and she says, "Happy, happy, uh, old man birthday, Dad." <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks. She's like, I don't know. Because at some point, don't you just? Get tired of counting. Oh my God, get tired of counting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, no, I mean, what's up, guys? I had a good day yesterday, and today it's been fun. Um, I really haven't gotten too much. I got for my birthday the uh, the movie Prime, the new uh, Voyager movie Prime. Cool. That's out. I, I've never had that ver this version of Optimus Prime before, so it's kind of cool. My kids got it for me. So nice. I was like, oh, nice. I was like, oh, I can't resell it now. They got it for me. Or like, you really yeah. hate me that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I picked up um, I picked up the Titans Return um, Legends Class Brawn. Nope. Found him today in the wild, and I was like, oh, cool, because I like Brawn. He's just kind of a badass, so yeah. it's fun to see a, a little figure of him. And, of course, I've been buying up uh, – Marvel Legends two packs and you know hawking them to people. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm um, you know, what thinking, any, yeah, pretty much. I mean, and I'll tell you what, I did get the dirty look, dude. It's like, what the hell is this guy doing? Because I had to go back for a couple more because people messaged me after I left the store. I'm like, oh no, I gotta go back. Oh, this is gonna be tough, dude. They're gonna grill me, man. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Lady gave me the eye, gave me the stink eye. She's like, nice. I had to play it off. I'm like, oh, they're for my friends. Even I made it even worse. It's like it's because of weirdo. Old <laughs> 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 man buying toys, great. You, know? <laughs> so you can find Russ at your local Toys R Us on the parking lot, selling some stuff out of his trunk. You know me, out of my trunk, up. Yep. Trunk life. Mar Marvel Legends two packs, yeah. Toys R Us exclusives. Here you go. <laughs> cool. But yeah, that's 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 about it, man. I haven't you know, other other than that, I've had I haven't had a real busy week. It's been kind of. Slow. Oh. <laughs> cool. That works. Awesome. All right. Moving on. Trent, how you doing? Good evening, Hello. How's, How's it going? going? You good. Good. What'd you get? I found nothing. It's nothing new. Happy birthday, Russ. But, uh, Thank you, sir. Nothing new. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. wah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've had weeks like that too. That over. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering when is uh, uh Blitzwing and Octane gonna show up? Because I oh, heard that they were supposed to be available like July, so month to go for me. Yeah, oh, <laughs> lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check that Target. Target's been thinking. the best place yeah. for me. For those things, I went yeah. there earlier today and I noticed that there were no Voyager, that they did not have any Voyager broadside. So, 
Mm. That's the one I've been seeing all over the place, dude. Is broadside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like exactly. damn. Guess we know which one they made too many of. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Woo. That's cool. Yeah, I remember what I what the other thing was that I got. It was. The, oh, uh, you're gonna backtrack now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it was there. the. Uh, Brian's got something else. It was the Takara God Bomber. <laughs> Oh, that's um, right. You did, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Nice. Yep. Nice. And uh, I, I did some floor time this week on that. That was a, lot, that was a good time. That's Ooh, awesome, dude. It's broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's cool. All right. All right, for me, let's see. Um, I just bought something on eBay just like a second before we started the show. Um, <laughs> so that's cool. Another Play Arts guy coming hopefully in another week. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm going to be leaving town anyways for the lake. So, um, what did I get? I got the last two members of the Halo uh, Reach Noble team. So I got June and I got Noble Six. I also um, picked up a Venom Player Arts guy. Uh, I picked up some paints. I uh, picked up a Moon Knight. I finally found him. All I'm missing now is a Spider Man. Oh, okay. So that's nice. Yeah. You say you picked up some paint? Paint, a uh, little, little tester model paint stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're able to find that Moon Knight because I was looking, I was keeping an eye out, an eye out for you. Um, to see if I was gonna find him or not, but it's a cool figure. Cool. Yeah, um, that's, I, that's what people say. It's one of the like, the better, best one of the one of the better ones of the uh, wave. So yeah, I think so. Um, let's see what else uh, I found in the wild: Steel Bane, Squeaks, uh, Drift, and Slug, or aka Slag. Um, I didn't buy all of those. I just bought a couple because they're twenty five bucks a piece. I'm like, yeah, it's not worth it to buy all that <laughs> for deluxe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was at Fred Meyer. It was not that cheap. <laughs> so, so um, which ones did you get? I got Steel Bane. Hmm. That's it. I didn't care Steel for Bane. squeaks. Is Steel Bane the dragon? The yeah, dragon he's the guy? dragon knight guy. Yeah. I thought he looked good with like the Dinobots from Age of Extinction. Um, That's cool. So. I made uh, some room on my movie shelf uh, next to the Age of Extinction stuff. I was thinking, ah, I probably will only get the leader class like Megatron, and I'll probably get a Optimus. That, 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 that class but... Megatron looks tight. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, yeah. Let's see. What else Jane, do you have yeah. uh, uh, an Age of Extinction Optimus at all? Yes, I do. Um, which one did you get? Just curious. I got the retail leader class. Oh, okay. Version. I didn't get the um, premium or whatever. Yeah, I'm it's gonna okay. Hunt, I'm going to hunt down one of them one of these days. So, um, what else did I get? Got some DVDs. I got the long, long trailer, which I like. Little old classic Desi Arnaz, Lucy Ball movie. Um, uh, let's see. That's it for toys. But I, I will have stuff next week, unfortunately. But uh, I'm looking forward. I got myself a Wolverine finally for Player Sky. But I did get this. That's no moon. Nice. That star. What is that? Oh, that's cool, man. Is that <laughs> just, a, just a wall hang you can put. I'm going to put it above my um, TV in the media room. Oh, that's awesome. Like the phases of the Death Star. Yeah. Cool. But, yeah. So you got like the house, all that. that so it's so kind of like cool. I like it. Saw that at Hobby Lobby. So, and then I found some other stuff I want to buy, but I just don't have the wall space because I put shelves up everywhere. <laughs> so, but we'll see. I found this really nice uh, wood Batman symbol shelf that I thought, oh, I can put my Player Sky stuff on there. The, the Batman Rogue Gallery stuff. Yeah. Like, that might be kind of fun, but I have no wall space. I um, have to find some, some open spot in the wall. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get into some screen sharing and other goodies. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. Present to everyone. There we go. Do, do, do. Can you see the little thumbnail thingy? Yeah, scary ass prime face. Oh, it's Nemesis the Prime. Oh no. 
It's almost like he has a, a breathe right strip on his nose there. It kind of does look that yeah, way, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just think it's neat that like his eyes turn purple and he becomes Nemesis Prime. Interesting. I am Optimus yep. Prime, and I have a snoring problem. <laughs> Do you have sleep apnea? Well, my friend, I have a I'll kill you. For you. I'll kill you all I with my sword. <laughs> Damn you. That's awesome. One shall fall. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so you see that? So let's get into some shout outs real quick. All right, so the Cool Table Network. It is a network of like-minded podcast shows to fulfill all your collecting needs. Um, you can find them on Facebook, and you can find all these shows on YouTube, or most of them on YouTube, but you can find them on iTunes, probably and on other social media. But we have Enter the Realm, which there'll be a show this Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I got a little plug a little bit later for them. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? We got the ARC Hangout on Tuesday, which uh, I don't know because it's Fourth of July. I don't think there's gonna be one. Maybe there will be one. I don't know. I think we're I think we're taking the night off. <laughs> I think. <laughs> then you got figure banging on every other Wednesday at nine thirty p.m. All three of those shows could be found on the Realm of Collectors YouTube channel. We also have in the Cool Table Network Shattercast Uncut. We have Nerd Rage Radio, Toy Detox, Beers and Bolters 40K, Stasis Lock, which is on Wednesday. On Bricks on the Dollars YouTube channel, which airs at, I believe, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have eight weeks. We have Information Creep, which is also on the Roma Collector's YouTube channel. Um, and I think that's all the shows. Next up. So, last week, we had the 100th episode of Enter the Realm. Great hey. show. Yeah, it was a giveaway. Congratulations yeah. to everyone who won a prize. Um, and happy birthday to Raul from Nerd Rage Radio. Yeah. 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 Yep. And especially, especially uh, Raul, who won something, right? So. Yep, he won something from me, which he should have gotten today. Mr. Lucky there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Instagram is how I kind of called him. I wrote yeah. it on the box, actually. But, um, yeah, he wins everything. Him and Jarms. Yep. But um, go check out that show. Uh, really great show. It was a blast. But there is a final giveaway, which happens to be this. Do you need a Titans Return Fortress Maximus in your life? Well, you could win one if you do this. Now, this is a scavenger hunt. You have to, first off, be a follower of the Roma Collectors on IG, Instagram. You also have to be part of the Facebook group, Roma Collectors. It is a closed group, but they'll let you in as long as you're not selling some weird stuff. Well, you can't sell nothing. So um, <laughs> you'll get ousted if you even try. So don't. And also, you need to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel. And Go once you get all this stuff. Go to IG. There's different posts that give you a question and answer the question to yourself. I mean, I think it's supposed to just keep it to yourself. You're not supposed to post it on the actual, um, like Facebook post or YouTube post, and then be in the chat, the live chat on this Monday, ETR show. That is July third. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Roma Collector's YouTube channel, and you could win yourself a Titans Return Fortress Maximus. Yeah, and also, I'm not sure we're asking questions. I think we're just asking people to be observant. Oh, okay. All right, well, yeah, it, it explains it in the post. All right, so if you go to IG, if you go to Instagram, look for the post that has the scavenger hunt. Boom, do as it states to do on there. Same thing with Facebook. YouTube, there's a video. Um, you will then um, know what to do for that Monday night show. And a big shout out to Gary, um, who is um, graciously um, contributing the Fort Max to this uh, giveaway. And I believe he's going to be on the show on Monday. So that's going to be cool. And, yeah. Uh, hey, Gary, if you're watching, you're going to be on the show Monday. 
Oh, yeah. well, hey, the cat's out of the bag. I am big <laughs> spoiler, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't been told yet, you're going to be on. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> so, um, yeah, there you go. Oh, Come here it. for all your spoiling needs. Yeah, that Gary's a cool guy, man. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's, cool. it's um, Yeah, he's messaged me a couple times and stuff. And Yeah, really cool. So, yeah, there you go. Um, giveaway is July 3rd live on the Realm of Collectors. YouTube channel, the Enter the Realm show. So uh, do that, and you will be put, your name will be put into a drawing, I believe, to win a four max. All right. Okay. Up next here, this is pretty cool. I wasn't invited to this, bastards, but it's all good. Uh, I'm not going to go to the UK, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> this is the TF Nation 2017. This is a Transformers convention in the UK. This is uh, bring him, bring him. I think. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it will start August 11th and go through that weekend. Um, but what's so unique about it is the fact that they're going to have a brave panel, Usha Brave. So they're going to go through the entire saga of Brave that started back in, um, what was it, 95? And um, no, 1990, excuse me, 1990 and went all the way to 97. They're also going to have the entire, I believe, deluxe size class um, figures there, or deluxe. They came in two different sizes. There was a standard. There's a deluxe, and um, much like kind of like Power Rangers. So they're going to have all the toys there, and it's going to be really cool. So if you happen to be going over to the UK, I definitely check it out. Um, it's, I love the fact that we're getting some love towards this series. It's a good, good series. It's a nice little yeah. hybrid of Transformers and Gundam. It's what Takara was kind of wanting to do, but Transformers was kind of on its way out, and they decided, let's keep it going. Um, Tommy, at the same time, was doing their thing, too, with the Eldran series, and then they you know, integrated into it. But, yeah. If you don't know what Brave is, I'm sorry. Check out my channel if you want. I have some reviews. Um, you got King Xkaiser, Gal Gygar, you know, all that type of stuff, Goldran. Some good shit. All right, moving on. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me an Here we go. Star Wars Rebels Season 3 is coming out this August 29th. The complete Blu-ray set. I cannot wait. We're ready to see Darth Maul. Ezra being a badass. Blind Kanan. The Oso Sabine. No, it should be really good. I, I love the series. I'm, it's sad that it's going to end, <laughs> but um, uh, really good. And I'm um, looking forward to this. So again, August 29th, get your copy. You know, it's funny. I was buying all the Clone Wars, like individual seasons, and I have them on DVD, which I'll probably, I think I might sell them at NJCC now. But uh, <laughs> it's like nowadays, I'm like, I'm just so patient. It's like, I'm just going to wait for the whole series to end, then wait for the like, the uh, the full set, should they ever make one kind of thing. Mm, yeah. Cool. All right, moving on into some more Star Wars news. We have Sideshow Collectibles doing a premium format figure of Darth Maul. This there is you a go, one six scale. There you go, Ray Park. <laughs> Fantastic looking figure. Um, doll life for sure. Unfortunately <laughs> for me, I don't want to spend five hundred twenty dollars on him. Um, really? That's a lot. Yeah. That's what I saw. There is. Yeah. Um, he does come with typical stuff. Is dual lightsaber that we've seen. He also comes with a broken saber that you can swap out. And uh, that's about it, yeah. It's really cool, I mean, but I just, I, I don't know. Um, he yeah. is going to be out, I believe, I think now. Um, so, really nice. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, 500 bucks, hey. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah, yeah it looks nice, but yeah. <laughs> At last, you can have your revenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So up next is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive by Jack Specific. This is their large-scale 
uh, Darth Vader, but this is in the color scheme of the 1977 uh, Hildebrandt um, Star Wars poster, movie poster. So it's pretty cool. I, I forgot. These are like the large, I mean, like, what are these, like two feet? Yeah. Three feet? Four feet? I don't know. They're they're big. They're the ones that you see at like Toys R Us. Yeah. yeah, them big yeah, ass full. yeah I don't know. So yeah. I've always wanted to get one because they're they're the mold of them is really really good. Yeah, they just have it stand there. And I mean, come on, who doesn't want to have a giant fucking Vader there? I mean, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And especially if he squeezes his legs, that activates his lightsaber with action, sound, oh, yeah. and lights up to squeeze them legs. Yeah, man. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Look at that thing. Yeah, that looks oh, bad. it's motorized, do you think? Or when you squeeze the legs, it makes his... It just makes his hand. It's yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, just gimmicky. Oh, man. Oh, okay. That's cool. And that's what it's based off of, the, the poster. Just fantastic. The brother's sister. Cool. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, you, know, they, right you know, they kissed once. Or yeah. twice. <gasps> Spoiler. Funny. Damn. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I always thought it was interesting seeing the poster art for Star Wars and you know other promotional material that had Luke's Luke uh, wielding the lightsaber because yeah. like he never really wielded it in the show. Like, like when it, yeah, except for when he was doing the the, yeah. the, the laser ball was shooting the lightsaber. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. try not to get <laughs> there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it looks cool. I love the old school sci-fi movie posters. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, for all you Big Bang Theory. Fanatics. I just thought I'd put this out there. This is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, three and three quarter inch <laughs> figures. This is based off of their Comic Con experience um, when they dressed up in Star Wars. Um, They're doing Star Wars cosplay, and they got stuck on the side of the road, and someone like threw their icy drink, screaming "nerds" at them and all this other crap. While they're trying to take a picture out there, and yeah, you know, it, it was a yawn. Yeah, yawn. It's not getting Charles. It's not, it's I just, not, I, it's not no, getting no. stick up. Huh? <laughs> I, just, I, I just, I never cared for the show. Uh, you're not that big of a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on into some Marvel Legends. This dropped, and everyone, even myself included, had to post this all over social media. I just got around. the stick up, but definitely. Um, this is the Thor Ragnarok series. And the build a figure is a gladiator Hulk from Planet Hulk. Nice. So I gotta ask. Purdy. Where is Hulk's torso? And his I think is there's this, more are there, are there more, more, more figures there's in more, the room? Yeah, yeah. This two pack right here is a Target exclusive. <clears throat> yeah. Much like they've done with Avengers and Iron Man and all mm -hmm. that. Um, but yeah. We um we saw some of the other ones, like, I believe we're getting the female Thor. That's right. She's one. She's in there. Um, and some other ones. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but yeah. Yeah. Our, I can't remember the, the, the chick's name in the movie that's going to. The chick's name? Yeah, I just can't remember. Really, no. I can't. I don't know. I know. Jane Foster? Yeah. Kate Portman. Uh, I think she's Valkyrie. Or are yeah, you Valkyrie. talking about Valkyrie? Valkyrie. Yeah. That's, yeah. I'm thinking of. that's Valkyrie right there, yeah. Okay. Okay. So well, there's gotta be in one, at least one more individual. Oh yeah, we got we saw them. We I mean it's they're not doing so all of the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Yeah. That's another box that you can get, but some of those figures are gonna be, you know, released into this too. There's gonna be the movie figures right. and it's also gonna be comic book variations also. Thor but, with the helmet Thor with his helmet back on down there. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm geeking out over this latest wave, so <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Yeah. Wait, she's got kind of a crazy looking helmet. On there. Wow. Again, though, I mean, it's really nice to. Um, I don't know. The Marvel Legends is very consistent, and that's what I like about them. And, yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. Occasionally, you get like a stinker in there, but, but well, yeah, I mean, part, you can't have all good. great yeah. things in a wave. I mean. I mean, That's the X Men true. has been pretty much close to perfect. Oh yeah, they're they're great um, because we all like our mutants. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes in the world of you know, it's Thor, or, you know, 
God forbid if we get Fantastic Four or something like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is that like, a uh, forbid. <laughs> that Thor in the middle, is that a toiler? Is he like wielding some kind of magic power there? Oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's part of the two pack. So yeah. Thor's a spell sword, dude, you know that. Now this build a figure, this uh this Hulk, I wish I really do wish that player at Sky would tackle this. Um just because <laughs> It would be kind of cool. <laughs> um, I don't know. Cause just because of the fact that the Marvel variants have armor, so yeah. this is the only version yeah. of Hulk that we could get that would have the armor that would benefit the variant line. Other than that, there's no chance in hell. So what are they going to do to his pants? Or they, I don't know, That's just weird. All right, moving on to some other Marvel news. We have Figure Arts Iron Man Mark III. This is a web exclusive. This is the black and gold edition. <laughs> ah, looks damn good. Looks pretty good if you like repaints. Yeah. For all those combiner war junkies out there. Like, hey, you well, <laughs> you're an Iron Man fan too? All right. like the repaint. Uh, but this goes with the, um, if you're buying those hall accessory pieces to put them in, to make yourself a nice diorama of the armor. Yeah, which which arm is this? This is the Mark III, I believe. Mark III, okay. Same accessory pieces that you're accustomed to getting with Iron Man. So, so yeah. ability, Mark, that. Mark III, that was what, Iron Man Two, I guess? Uh, no, uh, uh, Iron Man, the first Iron Man. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're right, because Mark II was the silver one, right? Yeah. yeah, come on. All right. Sure. Because yeah, I have an Iron Man figure that was similarly that color, that exact color. You know, he's kind of gold if he has like all this black color on You got the modern day Iron Man? I'm not sure, sure the Marvel Bruce version is. is. I think he's a Marvel Legends. He's probably an older one. Yeah, because they, they released the modern day Iron Man back in the, what, was it the Giant Man? From Civil War, uh, movie version. I think I'm not sure. All right, my favorite player, it's Kai, is giving us more in the Marvel variant line. We're getting ourselves a Black Panther, which makes perfect sense. <laughs> you can have all this armored up bits and such. It looks so nice. Man, does it? <laughs> Coming out October of this year, retailing at U.S. e-tailers for roughly $150. <laughs> uh, standard price, though, for players kind of, which sucks ass. But, yeah. um, you can uh, pre-order this at AmiAmi. Uh, I haven't seen Anime Export. Uh, I'm sure... Um, oh, I forgot the other one, HLJ. There is some sick sculpting action so, going on in this yeah. guy. I do like the fact that you can house his daggers, his yeah. vibrating daggers on his um, belt, on his back. I mean, That's cool. That is so detailed. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it's great. It's just... To this day, though, Play Arts Kai cannot do a flipping knee. <laughs> they cannot. Yeah. That's the one gripe I have. I mean, the ball hinge is kind of big there, but look at that. I mean, go on. Granted, it is you have two, you have a double joint, so you can make it work, look better. But that looks just god awful. It's yeah. their Achilles heel. <laughs> yeah. But their Achilles knee. Their Achilles knee. Yeah. <laughs> but I do like it. It looks, it looks good. Yes, it does. <laughs> it looks awesome, man. That's and that's the accessory piece. He does not come with a lot of accessory pieces, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Like Deadpool or Wolverine. So yeah. that's, a, that's kind of a bummer. But at least we're getting more in the Marvel variant line. I'm kind of uh, hoping we get more because I would really like a Daredevil because it would actually fit. Getting a nice uh, anime armored up looking Daredevil. Even a Punisher would work. Hell, I would take a Moon Knight just because then you got the cape factor in there, which they love to do capes. Um, but we'll see. The DC variant line only lasted 13 uh, figures before it went belly up. So this is, I think, 10, maybe 12, maybe, I don't know, somewhere. It's, it's getting close. 
but we still have Magneto that's coming out this year. We also have Doctor Strange, and now we have Black Panther. And then we also had Deadpool and Wolverine. So this has been a good year for Marvel variants. Player mm -hmm. guy. All right, for all you Hot Toys fanatics out there, you want a Hulkbuster? <laughs> you got one. Um, <laughs> this has been um, going back and forth, I think, for a while, trying to get this thing um, done correctly and everything. Because I think this was supposed to come out a while ago, but not quite sure. But uh, this is from... Um, Age of Ultron, and he's big. He does not come with an Iron Man. He just—it's just a suit. But you can fit your nice one-six scale Iron Man inside of the suit, so that should give you a kind of a scale. I'm not sure how tall their Hulk was. I think he was pretty big. Yeah, there it is. Uh, that's cool. Coming out of it. <laughs> It's wild. <laughs> and there he is. I mean, the one six scale Iron Man only comes up to his crotch. Barely. <laughs> so Damn. if if your Iron Man fits inside, do you think like the legs go inside the legs and it might be a full functioning suit, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm just trying to huh. get one six, that'd be that would be twelve inches, right? Yeah, that's twelve inches. Okay, that's, so that's a twelve-inch figure that fits. That's a twelve-inch Iron suit. Man, yeah, right there. How big is that goddamn suit? God, that's huge, man. Wow, wow. It's a <laughs> yeah. Two or, foot uh, tall. Maybe, uh, so, uh, a city butt. Yeah, you're looking at Devastator. Yeah. Uh, at least bare yeah. bones. Wow. Yeah. Devastator Fort uh, Fort Max. It's a big boy. Big yeah. big boy. Yeah. <laughs> And he's probably gonna be five hundred bucks, maybe six. <laughs> Holy <shit>. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes and that Darth think Maul think seem I like a ripoff. In a no off show, <laughs> really, right? <laughs> yeah, no. When that yeah. stuff, you get this, like, yes, I finally got all the money for this, but you can't find this figure anymore. It's like discontinued. Like, damn it, that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just got an empty shell. Mm. But, Somebody uh, crying like, about how they can't put their 12 inches inside of the damn suit. All right, anyway. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Take that the wrong way. <laughs> Honey, I can't get my 12 inches into the suit. What the hell? Took <laughs> <laughs> your home. Get inside my body. All right. A little too oh, juvenile humor. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Keep this strictly professional and adult. Hey, you don't want another bad comment. I don't want any more shit ass comments because we're, um, <laughs> we're juvenile delinquents okay. that spend hundreds of dollars. Uh, oh, well. All right. So, up next is a Toy Fair exclusive. This will be sold at San Diego Comic Con. And I thought, why not? This is the Mark 23 Shade. Uh, he's all camoed up, got like a. It looks like the Lone Ranger mask on his face. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> does. I oh, silver! <laughs> Wait, but no, it's not. It's a clear visor, but it does have light up features. That's why his eyes are lit up. But I don't know. It's got that. It's like the uh, the uh, the shotgun armor helmet. Cool. Oh. I am not an Iron That's Man expert. Okay. I don't pose to be one. But it does <laughs> look okay. It's funny. Yeah. Why, why does Iron Man need to be camouflaged? He can just go anywhere, just bust in, wreck yeah. hell. Yeah. Just have to sneak around. If he has to be camo, you you got to think he's taking on something that's pretty badass that I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's going to need some help. But yeah. But there it is. All right, moving on. Mezco exclusive. This is the. Uh, Morales version of Spider-Man. So there you Very go. This, cool. is, this is a uh, one twelve scale, six inch figure. All the little different accessories, the stand, like all Mezco figures. You get some whip action, and you get a total of four pairs of hands with this figure. Damn. Not bad. I don't know. It's... it's Doll life's getting to me, but I don't want to get into it because I'm going to have to go after that 
exclusive Punisher, which is going to cost me an arm and a leg. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. But if they make a Ghost Rider with a motorcycle, I guess I'm in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. the Judge Dredd in his motorcycle, man. Yeah. Give me that. Yeah, I'm in. All right. More Play Arts Kai News. This is pretty interesting. We're getting um, the Justice League Batman. Uh, looks a lot better than what we uh, got with the uh, BVS, which um, like is, this is yeah. this is uh, movie Justice League Batman. Yes, or? this is the movie Justice League. Batman. Really, so this we're looks great. We're getting a Wonder Woman from the movie, and we're also now getting the Justice League Batman here. Not sure how many more they're gonna do. I'm, I don't know if I want an Aquaman, but maybe Flash. Okay. But you can see there he's got the goggles on, so he kind of looks more like oh, Al Man from the yeah, Al Man. Watchmen. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. So, Court of Owls. Mm. But yeah, the cape looks good. Everything looks good. Again, this is going to be coming out, I believe, uh, October, November of this year. So, is that a posable cape or like replacement capes? They're posable. They have a ball hinge. Um, uh, uh, joint okay. that goes into the back. I got you. Unfortunately, it's probably going horizontal. No, not horizontal. It's going vertical up into a plastic block, which is designed by a moron. It works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Believe me, I got almost 100 Play Arts Kais, and half of them have capes, it seems like. And they did them really well back in the day, but now they're really just kind of, yeah. But um, again, this is going to retail for the standard Play Arts Kai price, one fifty. No alternate head. I'm hoping it does. That would be kind of cool. So why goggles? You think because he's fighting that uh, Omega Beam guy or whatever Dark Side? Outside? Maybe uh-huh. this was based off of the the trailer or such. Hmm. And yeah. I have a feeling that Play Arts jump the gun like they did with their BVS Batman, which they were sculpting off of a picture of Batman, and they didn't incorporate more into the sculpt, so you can't pose it or it doesn't look the best in um, if you're trying to do you know some action poses and such. Still a good figure, but um, they didn't go the extra mile with it. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to look like that throughout the movie. This is just like one scene that you see him with the goggles, like that's it. Oh, uh, like, like the third act, you know. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. But the accessory pieces he comes with is three pairs of hands. He comes with the his um, uh, grapple gun, and he comes with a small uh, battering, and that's it, unfortunately. And the standard player sky stand. So, all for the. $150 price point. The armor bits looks pretty good in different lighting. It looks like it has different shades in it. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see. All right. Some other um, updated pictures of the Mafex 3.0 uh, Batman. This is from the Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> so if you don't want the... Uh, SH Figure Arts, which I believe is shipping now. Swear to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm waiting for that to get into BBS, BBTS, and also Megatron, then I can ship all my crap. But yeah, you get several different heads, weapons, such facial expressions, all that. You know, I never noticed that uh, that version of Batman had six of those. Uh, Claw thingy bobs on his uh, gauntlets. Mm. Uh, I never noticed that before. That's pretty cool. Cool. Oh, yeah. But it, all the guns that he was associated with through the movies. So, all right, moving on into figure arts. This is the SH Figure Arts Batman from the Justice League. This looks okay. cool, dude. This looks cool to me. So it obviously he doesn't wear goggles all the time. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. <laughs> only, in, only at night. He wears his only sunglasses. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Looks like they've got the wires in the cape. 
yep. again too with this one. That's nice. That's such a cool touch. Yeah, I think they're they're going off of the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Or not Dark Knight Rises, the Dark Knight. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I believe looks, so there are other figures. But this yep. is definitely a nice figure. I like this one a lot. I'm looking forward to if they're going to do Wonder Woman. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I got to think they're going to do well with that one. I probably they'll probably do the best Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, far. I hope. I, uh, yeah, I hope. But we'll see. Again, he comes with, you guessed it, his his grapple gun or gas gun, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and his um, it's, it's all like the, it's the same ones for every Batman figure. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's, it's the same accessories. You get a battering, you get the grapple. Gun. Uh, no, awesome. I'm I'm surprised that he. You know, in this day and age, Batman doesn't have the grappler thing built into his like his gloves or something. You know, it's like why is he still need a gun? Like, yeah, because that's gimmick infringement, dude. Spider Man yeah. does shit like that. He can't be <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> All right, moving on to some other news. This is mm-hmm. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, the Legacy Collection movie Megazord. This is from the 2017 movie. And you guys can mock me. I actually, I, I forgot to say, uh, but I actually bought this DVD. Nice. From this movie. And um, actually, I know I didn't hate it. This was terrible. I kind of liked it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I, I enjoyed the movie. I mean, there were some things that are, that make you, you know, cringe a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. You know, that's it's what I've heard. No. I think everyone has enjoyed it as far as just being a movie. Right, kind of right. like the first Transformers movie. It's like, yeah, all right, okay, uh, I get it. Action, cool. I think if you let go of trying to compare it to the original Power Rangers all the time, you'll you'll enjoy it a lot. Maybe yeah, just kind of get that, yeah. all, that that original stuff out of your head, you know. So now this <laughs> is a uh, nicer decoed version of the build a figure that was a Toys R Us Toys R Us exclusive mm. um, wave. That had all the other movie figures and such, and also came with Alpha. So, <laughs> I will aye say aye aye. that's one ugly effing Megazord. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. Weird. Yeah. Oh man, what a piece of work. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So here's up uh, next a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which will probably be also a Toys R Us exclusive later on. But this is the Legacy Zeo Gold Ranger Communicator. This is going to retail for about a hundred bucks. <laughs> so there you go. Now, I can't remember who played the the, the, the Legacy. Uh, oh, Legacy. Was, it, was it was it Jason that came back as the Gold yeah, Ranger? Yeah, he came okay. back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, cool. But yep, they've released. I think. Let's see. They've released Mighty Morphin. They released mm-hmm. um, white and green, and now gold here. So nice. And then you got a little black and gold Megazord. That's going to be there. Also, it's going to retail for forty bucks. I thought I'd throw that in there. All right. And is also giving us a Sandy. San Diego Comic Con exclusive from their Dragon Stars lineup. This is a Ultimate Deco edition of Super Saiyan Goku. Nice. So it looks pretty badass. This is going to retail for thirty five dollars at the show. That's actually not bad. Damn. These normally retail in stores for I believe like normal standard six inch price. So it's like twelve or twenty dollars. Yeah. So. It being a it being a San Diego Comic Con exclusive though, that's not bad. Thirty five, you get away with getting anything from San Diego Comic Con for thirty five bucks. Yeah, <laughs> and it comes in a nice um, box and such, so gold yeah. foil on the lettering and all that. Not sure if this is uh, different from the actual release of the Super Saiyan Goku in the line. Maybe it has the kanji on the front and on the back. I don't know. Um, and I don't think it comes with a build a figure. Piece. That would suck. Yeah, this is the only way to get Shinron's head. To build a figure. You gotta buy the same Comic-Con exclusive. There's some pissed off people out there, buddy. Yeah. But he should come, hopefully, with like a command mail or some type of energy assessor yeah. or something. 
I'll buy this just because I want to scream out his power level's over 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Ultra Deluxe Scouter. It has electronics and everything. And um, this is only retailing for $25. So it's <laughs> fairly cheap. There's yeah. nothing to it, but. Yeah, but is, is this Dragon Ball too? Yes, this is Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is how they can tell how powerful each other. Yep. You know. yeah. the, end the beginning, yeah. Wait, they have to wear devices to see how powerful the other guy is? Yeah. Pretty they much. Did That's the how beginning. they communicated with each other also and such. The more I learn about this thing, man. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's it's how they find it's how like the guy that's like a like you know low level finds out he's gonna get his shit handed to him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah and Napa yeah. got their ass handed to him. Yeah, not true. That's, yep. that's cool though. I mean, it's a, oh, yeah. it's just a nice little thing to have, you know, from the show. So, yep. all right. Up next is the Tamashi Nations SH Figure Arts Kaioken or Kaioken Goku which um, was a Tamashii Nations tour exclusive, but we're getting it again at San Diego Comic-Con. Retailing for $65. It comes with all the same accessory pieces that was part of the tour that sold out instantly and was being scalped for, you know, two $250, which was unreal. But um, you can get it again here at San Diego Comic-Con. I haven't seen any pre-orders anywhere else, but... um. I'm sure it's going to probably double. So you're probably going to be looking at e tailors selling it for roughly or probably around $100. Damn, it's gone past. Everyone, everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, those people. Those, those people that go into Toys R Us and buy like three or four of items. Yeah, they take all the shit, man. <laughs> they just, yeah. I'm hoping they get the stink eye. <laughs> from some old lady. Old lady, like, you freak. <laughs> Grown man buying toys. Buying them for your friends. Yeah, give me another one. <laughs> vroom, vroom. He said vroom, vroom. All right. Up next <laughs> is the Bandai Figure Arts. Or not Figure Arts, but the Figure Rise. These are the model kits. This is Super Saiyan God um, Blue. Super Saiyan Blue God Goku. <laughs> Pretty cool. That's awesome. And these are actually yeah. really nice and affordable if you didn't get into the figure arts and you want to get some really nice looking figures from Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and all that. Yeah, definitely my, check them out. Yeah, I got one for my son sometime back, and he said it wasn't difficult to assemble or anything like that either. It was pretty good. There you go. So, not bad. There's, um, oh shit, I forgot her name now. Goku Hello. something. This something. is uh, from Dragon Ball. This is Launch. Her name's Launch. Yeah. So, yeah. Statue there. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I thought, hey, why not? We I got to get the little teeny boppers to watch the show. So Dragon Ball's the eye candy. <laughs> Giving them All something right. to see. There you go. Yeah. There you are. So, <laughs> what? She has two different hairstyles, or is that two different people? Hairstyles. All right. Oh, is one like. Manga and I Saiyan. think one's cartoon. And, oh, I thought one was like the Saiyan thing and the other one was regular. Okay. No, yeah. we never got a Super Saiyan until Super with um, Calif. Oh, one of the gal, Cauliflower Gal's name. Yeah, yeah. She turned Super Saiyan, which is pretty badass. All right, up next is SH Figure Arts Yamcha. This is a web exclusive. This actually uh, went up for pre order today. Okay, so Dan mentioned this in the chat, and I'm like, what did he just say? What's a Yamcha? <laughs> Yamcha! <laughs> Whole thing fist. That is Yamcha. Really badass. Um, got the new Buck style there. I wish he came with two heads so you can get the short-haired look from like the Cell games. Um, but this is not bad. This is his original look from Dragon Ball. Into the original Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And he comes with a cool accessory piece, which is a Saba Man. Which is really nice, but man, I need more of these. I don't want to buy like two or three Yamchas <laughs> <laughs> just so I can get more of the Saba Man there. Um, now if he had two, if Yamcha came with two heads, I would totally buy two of them just so I could just. Oh, 
I'm surprised they don't sell those little guys in like maybe a three pack or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool if they did that. And we know that TN's coming with Chaozu, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Look at that. So to tell these guys apart, you just look at their hairstyle for the most part. Uh, yeah, sure. He's got a scar on his face too. Yes, he does. He's got a scar on his on his eye and on his cheek. So he is not Goku. Yes, he is not Goku. He's Goku with his hair wet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Goku with a mullet. <laughs> Goku with a mullet. <laughs> awesome mullet. Goku yep. mullet. Goku's mullet was awesome. Yes, it is. And unfortunately, Yamcha died. Oh, man. Multiple, multiple times. Yes, he's died multiple times. <laughs> he's coming back. <laughs> he just keeps on coming back. Ah, Yamcha is awesome. a baseball player, too. He's got a little bit of a side career. Besides uh, tapping that Bulma um, until Vegeta came along and stole yeah. his woman. We also are getting a Dragon Ball Goku, which is super cool. He comes with the four star Dragon Ball. And there he is. Next to the um, Shinron that's going to be released by uh, Big Arts also. And I believe Wait. he comes with Nimbus. <laughs> he comes with the Cloud Nimbus as his accessory piece. Nice. So I like that. Okay. But really cool. And for anyone out there who hasn't watched Super yet, you need to watch it. It's really good. Frieza is. They've really. I like how they developed Frieza more into just a. Straight up badass. Um, <laughs> I mean, just like yeah. ruthless, ruthless badass. Um, but I guess if you're strung up in hell listening to a lot of fairies and teddy bears singing happy songs to you, you'd go batshit crazy too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible form. That's, um, <laughs> that was his punishment now. That's dreadful. Poor guy. Damn. But the games have finally begun. The tournament has finally begun. And um, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Was it um Universe Eleven, I think it is. That that dude is a badass. Uh but okay, moving on to NECA news. We have the Alien Covenant here. We took we took a look at these uh, a while back, but these are actually out there for sale on the NECA website or Amazon. So go get your alien goodies there. You get the, uh, the Necromorph, we got the Xenomorph, you got the Creature Pack. <laughs> this was pretty cool. cool. This Necromorph. was um, announced that we're getting a two-pack here, which is going to be released in October. This is the Hadley's Hope. This set gives us a alien, a Xenomorph, but we also get a Carter Burke, another character from Aliens. Right. He was um, portrayed by Paul Reiser. Mad about you? Just about to say, you mad about you fans finally get a figure. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) It's unfortunate he just has the scared, like, shitless look on his face. (laughs) Uh, But it's cool that we're we're getting other characters. And um, if you got Dirt Face, uh, Ripley, and um, Newt set right there, they go good together. He got him dirt face. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, uh, I don't know, man. If I was Sigourney Weaver, I'd be pissed. Yeah, no, right? Yeah. They, they, they trashed that up bad. It's like, come on, dude. You can do better. It's it's good that they are you know gave us the sculpts and all that, but, I mean, we've yeah. gotten other sculpts. And we're getting a new Ripley also, so right. that should take the place of that one. But, I mean, look at that, though. You're and stuck with this face, though. Yeah, that's great, dude. <laughs> it looks great, but you you're you don't have any, you know, if you're gonna yeah. pose it, you have to pose it in a way that's always gonna be like, oh my god. That'll justify that terrible yep. looking thing. Stay away from my cocaine. You know, I don't know. <laughs> and like even there, he just like well, but at least, yeah. at least it's not as bad as Newt. Newt's face is just like she just looks kinda like pissed off all the time. Pissed off or just like a dude. Yeah. <laughs> What an angry little child. <laughs> Vasquez looks pissed though, right there. Like, yeah, Nicole, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I do like the fact. I'm hoping we get more Marines um, besides Vasquez. We got Frost, um, yeah. Apom. I want you know Drake and such, and then hopefully Predator will get more of Dutch's team. 
besides yeah. Hawkins. Oh, man. But um, there's the Xenomorph, which is the newer mold, so it's got a little bit more articulation in the tail, torso, and such. Not in the ankle, though. Uh, no. There's no. Which one? What? Uh, um, it's, it's recent. Covenant. Covenant? Alien Covenant? Yeah, was the Necromorph in that? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, Necromorph, does that mean some kind of an undead xenomorph or something? Yes. Really? A little bit of a zombie. zombie action. It's a zombie alien. I love it. <laughs> um, also, coming out as a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, we have from Storm Collectibles Noob Cybot. Which looks so nice. And we just we just learned about him last week. I think. <laughs> yes, we did. So go check out last week's Plastic Fanatics. We went over Mortal Kombat. Absolutely. Cybot named after Ed Boone and Tobias or John Tobias, I think his name is. He's like, yeah, look. But no yeah, no paint. No paint. <laughs> no paint. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, you gotta love Mortal Kombat for just like you know what? Let's just do another ninja. Sure. What color yeah. have we not used? Yep. That's All right, great. we saw we saw this picture last week. Uh, Storm Collector <laughs> giving us a Street Fighter Five Chung Li. Well, we got more pictures. <laughs> it's oh, she was always one of the creepiest characters to me, man. Uh, I mean, yeah. Up the top, oh. She's this beautiful woman, and if you get down to the legs, she's got like big man legs. It's like, creepy. <laughs> I'd be scared. I would God, literally yeah. be scared. Be like, oh, no. Like, I don't know. I do want to lift up that skirt and see if there was something else. Something else up there. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Too much juvenile humor there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, but I mean, Cersei, she is a, I was a creepy character. It was like, God oh, damn, dude. All right, so this picture right here, I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. She's doing, you know, a straight up leg kick, you know, almost one eighty there, you know, like yeah, all the way up. yeah. But her leg, though, I don't think it's supposed to be turned the other way on the bottom. <laughs> it's More pointed creepy. towards her ass. More creepy. Yeah. More creepy. yeah. <laughs> They're hoping you wouldn't see that. <laughs> You're hoping, yeah. like, Whoops. yeah. Head boom, little head comes out. Whoopsie. <laughs> but you do get a stand, which is nice, so you can get her into a lot of these poses. Yeah. And she does come with quite a few accessory pieces also. There you go, Russ. You want to see what's up the skirt? It's one of those things you're curious, but you're afraid of what you might find out. It's like, oh no. I dare you to lift up my skirt. Don't ruin it for me. Yeah. All right. So other action poses. She does come with several sets of hands and also different facial expressions for you. And there's some of the accessory pieces. So she's got her lightning kick strike that you can do. And it doesn't impede on any um, weight on the leg, it looks like. So you um, don't have to worry about her leg. Drooping down. Not like the accessory pieces are heavy, that but is, looks like a nice figure. They did. It, I mean, they they captured all the essence of the character, you know. But oh yeah, he's just a creepy character to me. But it's all right. And I'm, you know, I'm almost curious. I mean, is this going to be better than figure arts? Because they just really yeah. search on me. Yeah. You got the other accessory pieces that go around her gauntlets. They give her that energy, chi look. Her hands. She's also got her other. Oh, that's pretty badass. <laughs> um, I forgot what her moves called. Like her, kind of like a Hadouken there. And if you want it, there you go. She actually can pose the way she, you see her in the game. So there you go. All the different accessory pieces right there. The accessory piece for the Hadouken comes with a stand also, which is really cool. Lots of stuff for I believe it's what only sixty five bucks. Yeah, they're 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 nicely priced I think for everything you get. Yeah, definitely not bad. All right, going into Transformer news, we um, found out that there's some TFCon exclusives. We have here sponsored by Ages Three and Up and Mastermind Creations. 
we have a custom paint class figure that looks like a Optimus Primal Deco. This is based off of their Nova Prime or Seraphicus yeah. or whatever it's called. Be cool. Yeah, Anna asked me if I wanted to do this custom class. I'm like, hell no. I'll be too hungover to get up that early in the morning. <laughs> now, it's, it's just at all shows. I mean, I, I believe this is at the Toronto show, but are they going to do it at the U.S. show? I know last year at the U.S. show they did have one, but I can't remember if it was uh-huh, the same yeah. figure or not. Okay. I don't know if it was the same one as they, as they had at the Toronto, but I mean, what was that? wasn't it like the, uh, the Grimlock? Yeah, the, uh, Fans Project Grimlock. Fans oh, Project God, it Grimlock, was. Yeah. It? <sighs> that would have been cool. That was the yeah. all blue, wasn't it? The G2. Yeah. Yep. Look. Yeah. I yep. have not found that on any site. I haven't even seen the die clone. Does, did that even come out? The die clone version of Grimlock with the blue yeah. crotch. Yeah, that was the um, that, was, that was the exclusive that year. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone selling that shit. Must have been really. Yeah, no, I haven't seen it. I've looked on eBay. I've looked around. No one's like, no, either no one bought it, or everyone loves it so much that they don't want to get rid of it. Oh, I actually did buy it for someone and returned it because they found another source. But uh, returned it. Well, 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 I didn't want it. I mean. Oh, I didn't realize someone else is in the market for it. Oh, I need a moment. I'll, I'll keep an eye open. I this need a year, moment. Oh. All right, cool. Uh, but it looks really good. This um, custom figure. Benska is also part of it. Wow, so that's cool. All right, some other news. From Mastermind Creations Perfect Perfection series, their master uh, piece series, we're getting a die clone version of their uh, Trailbreaker mold. <laughs> There's somebody in the and somebody posted pictures of this up and said, "Look, just repainted a turd or something." <laughs> <laughs> Who wants the must turd piss color? I believe it was Battercast. Uh, I think it was Deluxe. Yeah, yeah it was. About, it was the life. I started yeah. laughing my yeah. ass off. <laughs> Part of their Ocular Max. This is their Terrageous Rally. It looks good, and this is what they teased a while back at some of the other conventions. Yeah. We're all looking at like, what's that yellow Trailbreaker there? Yeah, they actually had this at Chicago yeah. last year. So. Now, there you have it. It's going to be available at TFCon Toronto 2017. I'm sure they're only going to have 50 on hand, but they'll sell probably of 300 course. later on to the e-tailers <laughs> just for your scalping needs. Where the e-tailers will probably jack the price up double. <laughs> I think I'm in for this. Oh, so there's the die clone right there, the original, based off of the Trailbreaker mold. Wow. And there oh, is God. the... I, version that we did last year they did what um the um, sphinx no they did um oh shit the green hauler they did hauler yeah right yeah yep. was that was that a toronto no that was yeah, that was that, that was a chicago chicago yeah they did that right. and they did i don't know which and they did sphinx as well right yeah they did just sphinx. remember they reversed it from the toronto one well yeah. he um yeah, the Toronto one had him like invisible. On yeah, the but they like, all had like one had blue apps, but the other one right, had you know, like, something had different. Orange. Yeah, but wasn't yeah. that last year's Sphinx though? Last year's convention, like the year before that? Oh. Oh, I can't remember now. I almost feel like no, no. Last year's was Anubis. That's I know that one. That's yeah. from Ask My Creations. Um, their um, lockdown. Yeah. But um, yeah, they did. I remember Holler. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it looks good. The back cleans up nicely. I mean. I I would get this just for the sheer fact of the novelty of having a die clone. Yeah, I think that's why I want it too. Also, I always wanted this mold, but it had all those issues, and I was like, I can I can look past all those if I'm getting it for a non trailbreaker character. I think maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've always cool. wanted to mess with this thing. Should come with a little die clone driver. But um, there's the original die clone again. If you ain't get enough of it. Just take this part away and this part away, and then you got Bug Bite from GoBots. Oh, yeah. There go. And there we go. Ryan, maybe, wait, maybe we'll get this at TFCon. <laughs> there we have him next to the Trailbreaker. So cool. So was that really that bad of a figure? I don't know. P- 
pe- people have been dogging it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He looks cool to me, but uh, it's said when you're you know, looks can be deceiving. I guess I don't know. <laughs> that alt mode though is pretty badass. Yeah, I like it. I like the alt mode. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. Like a mean truck, man. Yep. Better than the original die clone because it was a trail breaker mold. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This dropped also last week. Forgot to post it. So we're gonna look at it this week. Master, the masterpiece liner is getting some new cassette tapes. This is based off of their e hobby exclusive. Um, well, it was also it was cassette tapes from the Encore series, but also from the e hobby um, shattered glass uh, set too. MP15 and 16E. We're getting a stripes, where, which is a, just a redeco of the Ravage, Ravage mold. Right. We're getting a Night Stalker, which is a new mold that is going to be Steel Jaw. Wing Thing, which is a redeco of Ratbat. And we're getting Enemy, which is a redeco of the Frenzy Rumble mold, which is pretty cool. Actually, did any of these come? I don't think any of these came out of this shattered glass, so excuse me. This is all from the Encore Sound Blaster and Twin Cast set. So mm. bad. I like that other one so better. That rap bat's cool because it's based off of Batman. But not bad. It's based off of Batman? Yeah. The character bio for Rap Bat from the Shattered Glass um Soundwave and Blaster set. The rap bat there is um he, they did something like he he has a utility belt. He goes out at night and fights crime and some mm. stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the um, I think it's a slugfest or something. That's like the Robin for him. Yeah, from the deco and all that. So, is it where his parents um, murdered? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Might be. Um, nothing too special besides the fact that you're getting just redecos. And you're so you yeah. get new characters. I mean, I guess this is the best. I mean, the steel job, but I don't even know if I like what they did here. Yeah, I was um, gonna say, do you like do you like how that looks? <laughs> I don't. What, is this really supposed to be missiles going into his cavity still? That I, that has to fold out. I would hope so, because um, he doesn't have any wings ugly. like he did in the show. Yeah, that looks ugly as shit to me. I think it's supposed to turn like this is supposed to go down, flip up. I bet it's mistransformed. It's probably or not finished. Yeah, yeah. I, my, my money's on mistransformed. Mm-hmm. So, nope, I think it's just gonna suck. It's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward way to, to that go, broadcast. Way to, go, <laughs> way to go, Brian. Beating it down, or okay. <laughs> I'm not the car ass muncher, Russ. So. I hear you, brother. Go ahead, man. Just preach it. Let's go. Hopefully, <laughs> they're. Um, their rewinding eject will have a really nasty smell, and their paint will just flake off because they're going to they're going to diecast it like crazy. God. We don't know where this came from. Yeah, man. That's, I mean, why do you even need this with the, the wonderful KFC options that we have? So yeah, yeah, sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're wonderful. <laughs> and the thing is, I mean, Bad Chicken, they gave us all the cassettes essentially. Yeah. Like, damn. but there you go. I'm surprised they didn't give us a laser beak, the Sunder. Uh, would have been kind of cool. Oh, man. What, what should we call this cassette? Uh, he's an enemy. Perfect. <gasps> <All right. laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not creative with the names, are they? You just got yourself a $4,000 bonus there. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> All right, so this is interesting. We're getting um, new stands for Transformer figures. So instead of having the kind of plug-in to the actual bot like we were used to, I think with like tracks and such, this is actually going to be kind of more of a um, kind of like a Gundam slash, I guess, maybe um, Moshi Nation stand because it comes with like a claw or something that actually can grip onto the actual figure and support it that way. That's what I read, at least. Um, no one's actually got any officially in hand yet, but as you can see, RobotKingdom.com there is going to be selling them. Not sure how much they're going to retail for. 
the copyright though is 2012 so they've had these things lying around i guess oh, um geez. so we'll see they're so all black found, there so i found a bunch of cases up in a corner somewhere <laughs> Damn, yeah i mean it's a hexagon i mean it looks like a play hard sky stand like hey what if we yeah. took those and we just painted them black and we just put you know, the like, oh that sounds like a good idea does that look like it has a little hasbro uh tag on in there too look at that yep uh, i don't know if it's on the packaging or if that's on the stand but uh, we'll see <laughs> all right some other just news of transformers that was in this wonderful magazine that i would wish i could subscribe to um hot item again this is the optimus prime i'm probably going to get from the last night i like the fact that you can change his um mouth plate to whether it's open or closed much like the um, megatron so it's pretty badass. Some other figures you can get or not get. <laughs> get or not get. <laughs> so, yeah. Not once, I don't think in the movie, did I see Squeaks transform into this. Yeah. I don't think. Squeaks was nope. a, a useless character. character. Yeah. Throw away. Character. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're going to talk about that later. We're, that's, yeah. Yeah, we're that's gonna, <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone who liked the movie. Uh, and but, let me ask you something though. That um the um the new version of Drift that they did. Drift. I mean, did they basically take the same mold and just and just redo it, retool it in some way, or or is it or is it actually a whole new a whole new mold? I think it's a whole new mold. Because the car is different. I mean, because he was a Bugatti yeah, before. The, what is he now? He's something I think it's like a Mercedes, some some kind, but I don't know what which one it is. It looks cool. It's a nice looking car. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'd have I don't it. know, but I, 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 I. they he looks so much when he's transforming the robot mode. He looks so much like the uh, the one from Age of Extinction. Um, oh yeah, except he's just you know he's like red, but yeah, and it just but, it doesn't have a helicopter mode anymore, which is weird. It's like I would have kept that. That's you know, right? Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, he's not a triple changer anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a masterpiece Bumblebee, and then there's the anime colored. Sideswipe along with a small little picture of <laughs> Sunstreaker there. Mm. So wow, 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 wow! I will admit, though, I will buy that masterpiece Optimus Prime when it comes out. I do like I, that. I'm toying with that idea myself. Uh, I like the design oh, of it. I just, just, you know, just assume you had it on pre-order. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and some other figures. Um, we see that broadside, the Takara version is coming with a Repugnus little guy, like you get with the um, little tight master packs. You had Sculpt with Six Shot, but we've seen all this stuff, and you're getting the um, yeah. new Jinrai set. You got the pink, pink cool. Bumblebee, which is pretty cool. It's kind of like the Transformers Prime New York set, which is exactly the same mold. And there it is right there. Oh, this is the movie. Sorry. Version, but it's, it's a skull face. It's yeah. the laser beak rendition of Bumblebee when laser beak transformed when he was infiltrating that home with the kid. Yeah, so, yeah like a little miniature. <laughs> yeah, so he turned into Bumblebee. So you can have a pink Bumblebee, which is pretty cool. What's Optimus wearing there? Is that a collared shirt? Collared shirt, and he's pumping gas. He's pumping gas. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, yo, Brink. And he's, he's going to work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> lives in Oregon. So <laughs> <laughs> you can't pump your own gas in Oregon, so Oh really? There's more states than Jersey to do that? Wow. Yeah yeah. Another San Diego Comic Con exclusive by Hasbro, which is teaming up with well, I forgot their name, the skateboard company. Um they're giving us a black and gold accented Power Master Optimus Prime. This is the Hasbro mold, not the new um, um, Takara slash Hasbro. Yeah, not you mean not the good one. It's the bad. Not the good one. <laughs> well, it, it's <laughs> not that bad. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not it's great, right, but yeah. it's um, it's bad. Oh come on! Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> just coming from a Prime thing. Oh, yeah, man. it's because yeah. of the arms. The arms suck on it. Yeah, yeah I don't primitive know. skateboarding. That's what it is. So you get this Optimus Prime and Shredicus Maximus. Again, this will be available at the Hasbro booth at San Diego Comic Con. I'm sure you can get it 
on their website, HasbroToyShop.com. If you feel cool, lucky. Though. There he is. I mean, Check out my wall. Anytime Prime here. is black and gold, can you say? So I'm going to go get some syrup and pour it all over this picture. <laughs> yeah, <geez. laughs> you can't do that, Brink. You know it's Hasbro, <laughs> so you know it's going to have that stuff. It's, not, wow. it, it's almost like... It's like but you get this. You get, a, you get a rail and a ramp, you know, <laughs> all this stuff, and a skateboard with the little Titan Master. I mean... That's some badass it's stuff. Yeah, they, hilarious. they couldn't even paint the rims gold or something. It's just... Yeah. They put it all into that the accessory. It's all here. Yeah, all the, all, yeah, the extra paint went on the accessory. All the, the <laughs> $100 dollars worth of of this bot is just all right here. Actually, I don't know how much this is going to be, but it's a cool idea. Um, hopefully, yeah, it will go forward into neat. other other things. All right. I do like the coloring scheme. It's very cool. All right. This was revealed at Pete's uh, Transformer convention that he had, which uh, if you don't know who Pete Sinclair is, uh, you should. He was uh, part of the Transformers Collectors Club and BotCon for many years and such. And I, uh, a big fan of Transformers, a collector, and um, gave us a lot of – pumped some new blood into it as far as stories and um, – and um, toys and such. But this is what would have been for BotCon 2017. They're going with an Action Master. Yeah, this is Unicron cool. Trilogy yeah. type of theme. And it, it's really cool. I, li I like it a lot. Um, yeah. So this would be in the box set. So we have an Optimus Prime, which is utilizing the Titan's Return mold. You get a Rad, if you know that character from Armada. And then you also get um, Lionizer. So that's pretty cool. It's still a pretty crappy mold, but um, looks nice at least yep. with that deco. Yep, it does look good, and I'm glad they didn't show showcase the the plane mode. Yeah, yeah. That would have been a that's bad what's thing. wrong with this. This thing is great. The bot mode is okay. The truck mode is okay. You just keep it away from that plane mode. You're okay. <laughs> you're Definitely. Don't touch that. You know. All right. Another piece to the box set is we get a leader class Megatron utilizing the six shot mold, which is from Eesh. the Action Master line again. He comes with a Titan Master Devastator, which is pretty cool. So if you know anything about the Action Master, we did get a Devastator in that line. Yep. Definitely did. I had him. And it doesn't cool. look bad. The color scheme matches the the toy back in the day. Yeah. They show them in the tank mode. Right up next is Sprocket. You, uh, it has the highbrow it's mode. The highbrow. Yeah, the highbrow mode is highbrow. terrible. And <laughs> then we have Spr uh, Skyfall. With That's the trigger happy mold. Trigger. Looks like it is. Yeah, got Cruncher here. Utilize the Blitzwing or Megatron. Whichever one you want to. Kind of looks like Spoiler. Yeah, a little bit the color scheme, and then the free attendee is the based off the cup mold from the Titans Return is Dion with Magnum, which is really cool. So if you're into the storyline with the whole Ultra Magnus, who became Ultra Magnus, is Dion like, like uh, Ryan Pax's buddy? Is that the who Dion is? Yeah, in I the cartoon. Exactly. Okay, all right, all right. This yeah. name sounded familiar. I was trying to remember. And and what'd you say, uh, James? The the Titan Master. What was him? Magnum. Magnum. Yeah. The whole storyline, I think, back in the day, was like, who is Ultra Magnus? Is he Dion? Is he Magnum? Only one could survive, or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. I have to go back and read the storyline. But hit up information creep. Question them. Uh, was it an IDW storyline? No, it was a um, a uh, collector's club, I believe. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Baka stuff. All right, so here are the souvenirs now. You can get a double dealer, which is based off of the um, hardhead mold, which you get two Titan Masters. You get Knock and you get Scar, which I think is pretty cool. You get Onyx Primal based off of Mind Wipe. What the hell was it? That's me. Sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. I just like 
Like you're opening up a screen door really slowly. Or <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right. Oh, so in the souvenirs, we have the Armada Hotshot, which is the Brazy. Which one is that? Is that the, the Chrome Dome mold? Yeah. yeah. Like Chrome Dome mold, yeah. Yep. Oh, he comes with um, Alexis and Jolt, which is cool. I don't think anyone got Carlos, though. It's odd. I thought there was three of them, right? Three kids. There was yeah. Rad, yeah. Alexis, and Carlos. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that's weird. Another souvenir is Energon Megatron, which is the Sky Shadow or Black Shadow mold. That's yeah. pretty wild. And That's his wild. Titan Master is Leader One, just like the. Uh... Actually, that, would, was, that was that Armada. Armada, yeah. Yeah. That he came with that, but they're going with Energon. And then this is what's pretty cool the troop builders are cassettes, so you get Rosanna, which is not bad. That's neat. You get Enemy. And then you get flip sides who was posing as an all bot and was actually the subject. <laughs> so I kind of like, I like the theme Very of it. Cool. And then there's a pretenders pack where you can do star scream. The old school star scream. Like this. That. You get jazz. It doesn't really look like jazz, but man, they were going to make a killing at this show. Yeah. Man. yeah. You got Bumblebee looks like, here. Looks like the uh, pretender mold. Jazz That's what and Bumblebee. supposed to be. Pretty cool ideas. I'll give them that. Yeah. Crosshairs. It was a deluxe pretender back in the day. Broom. This was weird. This came out of left field, but Metal Hawk. Uh, oh, wow. Hmm. I'm sure it's, it's because they didn't know that there's a Metal Hawk coming out, but I would have yeah. maybe have liked a Decepticon deluxe, even though I don't think you want to do another Thunderwing. But. Oh well. All right, this is part of the Collectors Club now uh, series. This is the membership freebie figure that you get. This is <laughs> their names: Croctimus Prime, yeah, with the, the alligator gun, the, yeah, the alligator alligator or whatever. All right. Yeah, you got right. the club. Ex you got the club exclusive, which is the alligator Megatron. So the first Beast Wars iteration of Megatron. That's cool. That is pretty awesome, actually. And then part of the 6.0 series, you get General Tankor there. You get General Thrust. You get General Th Jet Storm. You get Senator Ratbat. Bless me. Which is, again, the mind white mold. You get Flywheels. Which you go with the Battle <laughs> Trap. From the other box on set, but this is off of the uh, Blitzwing mold or Megatron. This is pretty cool. You get um, Override with Lori there. And then the best one is you get a Shattered Glass Rodimus that's based off of the Springer. Generation Springer mold, which they used for the Cloud Rodimus. <laughs> that so, would yeah. be cool as <laughs> shit. Yeah, that that one right there is like wow. Yeah. Like damn. I want that. Damn. That almost makes you wish Bakan was back in the <laughs> Well, this wasn't part of Bakan. This was part of their the club. Oh, 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 this was part of the club. Okay. Yeah, this is part of the club. So this part would have been stuff if, service. if they would have kept the club going, you would have been able to get stuff like all this stuff. Yeah, the six point yeah. You would have been able to get tank or thrust, jet storm, rat bat, flywheels over right, shattered glass here. Proud of us. All right, moving into Titans Returns, if that's what you like to do with them. We have Overlord, which I don't think you'd be returning this guy. This guy looks fantastic. This is based yeah. off of the Sky Shadow mold, just retooled. Good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah, he does. Damn. He's got the Godmaster gimmick. Jeez. So you can put little Titan Masters in his chest. Oh man, it's got booby bots. 
All right. Yep. <laughs> you can put them in like that, or you can mm, be creepy nice. and have their heads staring at you. <laughs> I thought was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. I'm totally going to get that guy to do that shit. I got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, look, dude, my, my pecs are staring at you. Woo! His nips have eyes. Wink, wink. Ah. So, there you go. There's the Titan Master. So it is um, Lord Giga. Oh, Lady Mega. Bet mode. <laughs> looks good, dude. Damn. It looks good, but back here, though, it looks a little suspect. Like, this is just flipped over, and you got a gap. Yeah, other than that, other than that, it look it yeah it does. It's reminiscent of G one, mm -hmm. totally. Underside, okay, this is better. You can see it a little better. So yeah, it look it does look good. It looks exactly like G one. <laughs> the chest <laughs> and everything right there. Got to pull this out of the spot. Oh my god, that's that's G one to a T. Take off the canopy of the jet mode. So that reminds me of Thunderwing like crazy. And master in there. Or you can fit him in the tank. That's really, really cool. Base mode. Which Overlord did have a base mode. And it yep. was featured in the cartoon. Look it. Hey man, looks cool. Mm, I guess that yeah. can attach to Fortress Maximus or whatever. Is that, yeah. is that is that this line or is that? Yeah, that's this yeah. line. Yeah. Attaching a blaster, prime, and all that, make yeah. yourself a huge city. All right, so we got the clones here. If you bought the, what was it the what set was it? Velocitron. Chaos on Velocitron. Yeah, that one. Um, you got some of the clones. Well, they're releasing the other two clones, so you're gonna get um. I forgot their names now. Pounce, Wingspan, Wingspan, and Cloudraker in the set. Oh, there's a better picture of them. So unfortunately, you have to buy the set. Have your clones. I'd be down for these. These are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Are they headmasters? Nope. Change my mind then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these are just legends class, right? Like your scout, scout class. Oh, they're legends. All right, I'm back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's their. Or are these, yeah, or are these deluxes? I'm pretty sure these are like small legends. Are you sure these aren't the G ones? They look like just yeah, no. like the G ones. <laughs> did a good job. They yeah. did a really good job. All right, and then we're, we see mind wipe here, and we got we got twin twists coming. I'm not sure if That's I like the one I'm, I'm most purple. looking forward to is Twin Twist. But it's been more sure. Another Windblade. Oh, yeah. We love yeah, the armored uh, Windblade. I think, they, I, I think they're, they're taking the um, the uh, trigger happy mold and they're just redoing it. And, you know, but it's but the same mold, basically, but they're just. Because that's what I think she's made out of. Oh, like of, the same transformation, that. just remolded. Somewhere. Yeah, same yeah. transformation, but. Right, they're just remolding parts on it and shit, but yeah, it um, reminds me of their metal hawk kind of in a way. I don't know, like the wings. Uh, uh -huh. Who knows? It does look good. Uh, I'll probably end up picking it up because unless you got the Takara Legends version, the Hasbro one sucks ass, literally. Yeah. <laughs> so this is interesting. I just threw these out here. This is nothing special. I don't really care about Optus Prime and Orion packs, uh, two pack. But I just like the fact that you know what. The Hasbro employees just basically said, fuck it. They had yeah. the big case of the fuckets and just, you know, let them just lay there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, you know what? I let know, the right? figures just lay there. Fuck it. Oh, man. That's great, dude. So but that's like, not it. They yeah, just like, laid it on the bottom shelf. Fuck it. <laughs> Jamie, if you this go back cool. one. I think just had a big box and they just poured it out on to this one? Yeah, so notice how Orion Prax and Optimus Prime, they're those both of those figures are deluxes, right? Yep. And look at how the, was it, War for Cybertron Prime is 27 steps, and the new deluxes are only 18 steps. <laughs> yeah. The de-evolution yep. of our Transformers. 
they've just pulled too many kids and their attention span wasn't there. <laughs> we got to make them quicker and faster. But this was just amazing. It's like, you know what? RID, fuck it. Just throw them in there. Throw them in there. Just who cares? I mean, look at that. They're, I mean, they didn't <laughs> fall. They were placed in there. Because, I mean, this one, Starscream's head is over here. This one's on the opposite end. This one's over here. <laughs> this one's over here. This one's over there. I mean, it's just like, they just threw them in there, which I was like, okay. Who cares? Jesus, James, they're taking a nap. God damn. Take, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is their sleep mode. I'm, I'm, I apologize. He said their sleep I, mode. I didn't know they're conserving energy. John. <laughs> Nighty night. All right, moving on into the Takara Legends two pack with Super Gen right here and the God Bomber. Pretty cool. Again, yeah, you got some differences in paint apps and such. Chrome sword, chrome chest. Had, but people like <laughs> you do. I appreciate Hasbro stealing that mold. Not stealing, but using it finally. Yeah. For the yeah. Siege of Cybertron. You got the base yeah, mode, you got the God Bomber trailer mode, but the fact that I like the you get the two extra Titan Masters, which is Cab and Minerva. <sighs> so they're there, right there. That's pretty cool. All nice. painted up, looking good. Yep. Now I'm assuming maybe we're gonna get a hose head to be able to utilize this Titan Master. So a fire truck. I really do hope that. But we'll see. Or also a siren, and possibly a. Um, Maybe. Because we already got a ghost shooter with the wheelie release. It's cool. Mm -hmm. I even did skin tone. Nice. Yeah. All right, moving on to some Toys R Us exclusive. This is part of their Siege of Cybertron. Here is Cybertron, which is a redeco uh -huh. of the Primus from S Cybertron. I believe. I'm yeah. Right now. <laughs> Blue and orange. Yeah. 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 I, actually, it's, I, I mean, actually if you like didn't get this mold, scheme. that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Not sure how cool. much this is going to retail for. If it's in the if it's retail for a hundred bucks, then they're out of there. They're batshit crazy. Uh, but it Ollie's. is Toys R Us. Base Toys R Us. I was about to say that too. Yeah. yeah they'll oh, definitely try Mission to Cybertron. <laughs> that's what it's called. Mission to Cybertron. Well, there it is. I still, to this day, I did not know that Cybertron had a like a attack like ship, like ship mode. Like ship mode <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm like, well, Ooh. yeah, they revealed it in the last movie. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. They revealed stuff that I can never unsee. Uh. Here's in uh, speaking of the movie. Here's uh, another <laughs> Toys R Us exclusive in Fernicus. This is so bad. This was funny in the movie too. Didn't they didn't have that much screen time? But um, Optimus, um, yeah, just did what he had to do. No. But you do get a Quintessa there, and it's because they forgot who he was, so he had to remind them. Remind them, yeah, yeah, yeah. that he's a swordsman. <laughs> no longer do I have a Buster Cannon. I will use a sword. <laughs> Melee weapons galore. And I love this. This is a combiner. I'm, 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 I'm right, but it looks like it's a combiner where it looks like he's like, hey, just let me stand on your head here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, it just doesn't look like. Let it me grab doesn't. your legs, right? And uh, I will stand on your heads. And hey, here we go. <laughs> and we'll just, um, yeah. Maybe the center dude's just one big magnet. And he's been able to go like this, but these are the like little. The, uh, um, Little guys from the Transformers Prime series, they're um, Terracons. Yeah, they're like a little abominous thing, right? A little yep. miniature one. Yeah. yeah. Skeletron here is another one, which is a redecoed, retooled yeah, I, version of Steelbane. I another saw that word. today in the store. Uh, you didn't buy it? Hell no. I don't want that. Get the fuck out of here. Bro. Sorry, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 
No, I'm joking. It, it looks cool. I mean, it's not cool enough for you to buy, though. Not cool nah, enough man, for you to I take up to the. Dude, I just spent all my money buying a Marvel Legends two packs. <laughs> all right. How about this Toys R Us exclusive? The deluxe size bomber Megatron with new head sculpt. I saw that today too. Did you buy it? No. Get the fuck out of here. But I might. I might go back for this one. Oh, he I like might, it. I folks. He cool. said it here live on air. He's gonna get this guy. I might, I might go back. Yeah, he's he's pretty awesome. What yeah. this Megatron? Yeah, I I never had I never had this mold so. It's fun. It's a good one. I like it. It's, yeah. It yeah. is nice. It is a nice mold. It's just sad that it's yeah. and being used for this. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. but the thing that ticks me off the most is we all like this mold, or you know, majority yep. of us do. And right. but the biggest complaint is it should have been a Voyager class. Yeah. And yeah, the yeah, fact yeah. that they went back and they took the Scorn character from Age of Extinction. Uh-huh. And they made that into a Voyager class. Yeah, yeah, he's bigger now. Like, right? really? And yeah, he's and it's like, what the hell? Yeah. If you're willing to do that to a Dinobot, a Dinobot! I mean, come on. A, a scorn too. A, not even a fucking real Dinobot. You won't <laughs> do it to Megatron. <laughs> Jeez, James. That's it terrible. Is, it, I know. It's, it's just, you know, Hasbro, you know what? No love for scorn, huh? All right. No. I mean, come <laughs> on. Give me a break. A Spinosaurus. A Spinosaurus. Uh, we didn't know shit about Spinosaurus since, until we got Jurassic Park 3. Okay? No. I had no idea. <laughs> Here's Dragon Storm, which I thought was going to be the big baddie in the movie, but no, he was just some, you know, obedient dog, essentially. <laughs> some dog. <laughs> he was. I mean, he was an obedient black that Merlin used, and which Optimus got to ride on. Ah, okay. Well, didn't he? Right? Is he the one that, like, combined? They all combined to form, yeah, or is that all, the other yeah, guy? The, no, it was all the, the knights. Just two of them, was it? Wow. Or two or three of them? I thought it was 12 of them. 12? All 12 of them combined into that no, thing? I don't know. Okay. Damn, that's a big combiner. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, 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 it was huge. yeah, it was a big dragon. I didn't know it was yeah. a dragon. Well, cool. Oh, cool. Still was not good. <laughs> All right, so here is the um, Nitro Zeus. This is a uh, Voyager class yeah, figure that will be released. <laughs> the name is awesome. Dude. Oh, is yeah, yeah. Great? Um, this will be released with the Scorn, but I like the fact that this was modded to um, with the Thunderwing head that you get with the um, Siege on uh, Cybertron. So uh, you can have a thunder wave. Shouldn't he have like bling and stuff? Was that him? I can't remember. That had like the gold chains and stuff. No, that Brown's was barricade. Back. That was barricade. Yeah, that was barricade. But yeah, this guy here, interesting. All I remember him was him flying around with Megatron. That was it. Yeah. At certain retails um, in Japan, starting July fifteenth, you will be able to get the last night gold of Vector Sigma. Or vector, excuse me, not vector, excuse me, vector shield here. It's pretty cool. Um, there's only going to be two thousand pieces, so there you go. Japan gets all the good stuff. Yeah, they do. All the best <laughs> stuffs made in Japan. It is. I want a life-size Gundam. Hmm. Not fair. All right, Shapeways. Want a Megatron fusion cannon? There you go. Put on your Megatron Titans Return Voyager class to make them look a little better. Okay. Man, that's a lot of plastic. That thing's pretty it expensive. It's a big, it's uh, big, man. Yeah, it is. Not bad. All right, Shadow Fisher. You want to light up eye for your masterpiece? Laser wave, shock wave, lavender wave. There you go. That. That's kind of neat. Three V CR nine two seven. Hey, good luck finding a CR nine two seven. I have no idea. Um, but there it is. Mm. Differences between the two. Take it apart, and there it is on. We have red and yellow. I think when it's not lit. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Let's go back. 
No. Maybe it's you could either do light piping or oh, not. I don't know. I can't read Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what that says. Always giving the options. That's cool. <laughs> And we saw this on ETR. I was going to show it last week. I forgot. Cute. But here's Fan's Toys. is Coop. I like it. It's good. Yeah, Better they, now that we see the solid chess piece window instead of the clear. Absolutely. It's a, it's a big improvement. Target Just Master. It looks a lot more. Oh, yeah. It's cool looking. There he is next to Hot Rod. It's too bad I sold my Hot Rod last year. Yeah, but are you going to get... Well, wait. Hoodlum's based off of Rodimus, right? Or I is that a Hot Rod? I don't even remember. And that thing hasn't... They don't even have a release date for it, so... No. Who knows, right? No. Saigar action. Pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's not bad, man. Here's with the rest of the team. Ultra Magnus, Rodimus, Perceptor, Junkie on Wheelie. So. Well, what so wheelie, what, is which point? wheelie? Which wheelie is that? <laughs> oh, I call it the Junkie on Wheelie. On oh, Wheelie? Really? Like, who made yeah. that? It's a long time ago. Man. Yeah. Was it a long time ago? Yeah. <laughs> So, if you still love fans' toys or only buy fans' toys, I guess this would be for Chris. There's yeah. spin drift. I'm getting this too. Do there's sea spray. Yeah, this, this, you like this guy? He's heroic, He's heroic, James. He's heroic. The heroic <laughs> sea spray. He's the sea spray we yes. deserved. Damn right. That's what we should have gotten instead of so the guy with the big gut. We should have gotten this guy. Look how he's. He's like, look at me. I'm skinny. I'm thin. I'm muscular. Man, this guy's awesome, dude. Yeah. Really? Settle, settle down there, Russ. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let me get off that picture. Oh, my God. There he is next to MP Bumblebee, which they're about the same height. Yeah. Spin, well, Sea Spray's just a tad bit taller. Mm hmm. Here is this is Toy Worlds. Oh yeah, yeah Toy Worlds yeah. Springer. Looks they call awesome. this thing Spanner. Is that right? Can't see that Spanner. Yeah, like that. that looks that looks better than the, the first uh, pick. Yeah. That's... Yeah, Spanner. Spanner. Mm. Who's in? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not in, no. Yeah. Nah, I'll, I'll let that lay. It's fine. <laughs> Gonna wait and wait and wait. <laughs> Hopefully Takara. Helicopter mold, uh, the mode doesn't look too bad. So you're waiting for Takara when there's like seven other options available? <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's, it's just not a priority. Nothing really has just like wowed me for Springer besides the generation mold. Boys that made the uh, Allen was that who made yep. Allen? Yep. Um, that one's not that one's not bad. Yeah, and I mean it's what clearance at BBTS, so it's maybe worth just having as a filler. It's true. That's the vehicle thing mode here, it, yeah. the, the armored car mode doesn't look good at all. Yeah, it looks terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, look at those little ass tires in this wheel like well. It's just huge. It like, really yeah. half acid, dude. It's <laughs> like, let's not fill the whole wheel well with the tire and let's have them like That's, rubbing up against the back end. It's so Unless ridiculous. Transform this correctly. I don't know. Yeah, God, it's horrible. Are oh, these supposed man. to come down and maybe connect in? Maybe this plugs in here. I don't know. Maybe no, no James. It's, they're not. It's just. It's terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
There you go. Now this is something that's not terrible. Look at this. So guy. this is unique toys, I believe. Yep. yep. Swindle that looks wonderful. That looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, I think I'm getting this figure right here. This one. Just this one. Just this one. That's it. It's my hmm. favorite con, man. Looks good. It's my favorite Decepticon. I've been looking for the <laughs> one. I like him. Those thing. That's cool. Side shot. Yeah, it's not bad. Shot. And he's it's got no way. ass. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> it's not there. Looks real good. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty clean. Yeah, it is. There's Brawl. This is the one thing I don't like, is the fact that they're the same size. Or actually, Brawl is smaller. Um, yeah, I think when you stand next to each other, Brawl is a little bit... I don't know. At least the pose that I, I... I mean, it might have been a different pose I saw that made Brawl look smaller. I'm not sure. Yeah, and then vehicle mode, they... Like was. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's a big Jeep. Yeah. yeah. Or a small <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but you had to remember, too. Remember in the G1? God, I mean, they were both legs. You know, yeah, so it yeah. didn't make sense to me. He had a big tank leg and a little Jeep leg. <laughs> he had a limp. That's all. He had a limp. good. <laughs> he had a gangster limp. <laughs> He's a little like, hmm, there we go. Oh, and here is Blast yeah, Off. <laughs> Which is <laughs> too bad. It's not too bad. Pretty accurate yeah. to yeah. cartoon, as far as like how you can do the feet. The... Yes. Okay. Yeah. Unique Toys really seems to be going for that so closer to a G one accurate look. Yep. Yeah. And here's the team that Zeta's, you know. So pretty. I don't Pretty like the decent onslaught. size. You don't like the onslaught. I don't like the really? onslaught. Why not? Why not? I don't know. He just he doesn't look proportioned properly to me. I don't know. He's, just too big. Towers over them. Is he not? Yeah, well, he's doing. He should be little. He should be taller than him. But it's just it just looks chubbier and thicker in some places. And I don't know. Just, so he's he's not heroic enough. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, but right here you can That's see the, the how small Brawl is compared to the rest of the team. Right. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Yeah. It, 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 it works. It still looks good. In G1 cartoons, though, it was kind of weird, too. Brawl would be standing next to him and be like, hey, yeah. you're a tank. You're small. No. <laughs> but here is Bruticus, and yeah. this looks good. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I like it. Like how the turn on the tank on Brawl is turned just slightly so he doesn't really shoot himself in the face, maybe. <laughs> Swindle's guns are pointed down so he can shoot himself in the foot. I like it. It looks really good. I like how uh, are they using Blast Off's wings for his chest piece there? You know? I think so. It, it might be. His uh, tail fence? It should be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think so. Nice. It's cool. Hey, he's gonna be a big. He's gonna be a big guy too, man. Because these 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 figures are pretty good size. I mean, they're this guy's gonna be huge. Like that, how they lock in. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. 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 In the back yeah. of the swindle and brawl to give them more stability or a connection. That's. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, which I mean could could be good for the for the knee and combiners. A lot of times the knees don't hold up. This is gonna be now a floppy mess. It's like genius. Oh, it's too loose, <laughs> and it's a pin now. Shoot, it's a pin. I can't fix that. Oh shit! It sucks. <laughs> now it does. That's that's nice. It um, is. Hopefully, other companies will take that into consideration. Damn. Yeah, because you can see the front of the or the cockpit of the uh, space shuttle is on the wing too, and it's missing from the arm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But you still get that shuttle look, which is yeah. Nice. It's nice work, man. I like it. How about <laughs> Data Toys? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not so nice. After you, uh, so nice. After you lovers are stylized stuff, here you go. That's what we're going to call it, stylized. 
Yeah, I'm not sure now. It's not even his face. Or, or junk hanging off every part. <laughs> well, it's only 60 bucks. So. His panels. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, can can be the price. I hate folding, folding, folding. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a more folding. Yeah, it's look terrible. at the legs. Fold, 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 fold. Attached to the side, so I have these big ass calves. Yeah. He already has blocky calves, man. I don't know. Yeah, man. If you bought, if you bought, if you bought this set, though, I mean, you're not worried about the individual bot modes that much, though, really, because you're gonna keep it combined. I mean, true, but still, it's not. And yeah, these yeah. things are cheap. I mean, uh, what are they? Fifty six, bucks, 50, 50 or sixty, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, these are the guys who left Toy World. The old ones. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, they Toy World. You could fuck yourself in that. What, what was that? <laughs> what was that comparison? What's that? This is the Combiner Wars Bruticus Takara oh. United set. Oh, I never saw that before. Yeah, we never got that over here. We got a redeco of us. Aerial bot. Okay. Here's Vortex. Mm -hmm. Vortex doing a cool pose. Look at me, Mom. Ankle toe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! I got awesome, the, the propellers. Don't do anything. They're on a ball hand. You think you put them down, or as I would like to call them, blackout. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I wonder why they did that. Um, I mean, because remember when this was Toy World, right? The uh, Constructicons were very G one esque. And I'm really yeah. surprised that they went with a different helicopter for this. Mm, That's I don't know. weird. Oh, no. Well, the helicopter looks... Nah. Vortex, yeah. Vortex did a... He was a smaller helicopter, if I remember. Yeah, well, I thought he had... Didn't this he, didn't is definitely like more like Blackout. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this throws it off. They should have put a gun in here. Yeah. this thing. Um... Get this out of here. I mean, I don't know. We don't need to Alpha that. Bravo need to... mold. Come yep. on. Alpha Bravo's the best. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> um, here's fans' hobbies. Transmetal 3 Megatron, I believe, that they're doing. Oh, it's just a remold of their uh, whatever double, that other guy was. Double cross, yeah. Which you guys did a... Figure bang. You want figure bang. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, they also was... gave us a teaser of their next project, which, if you know anything about G2, you know that this is the color scheme for Megatron. It looks like you're going to have something to, what was it, Gunslinger, Gunfighter, whatever their G2 Laser Office Prime is called. Yeah. It would be cool if they scale good together because obviously the uh, the G2 toys, the originals, right? That Megatron was humongous. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the thing was huge. All right. I wonder, it was his Beast Wars number 10? Beast Wars second? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know Beast Wars. Yeah, <laughs> they used that for Megastorm. And they just stripped the electric out of it. All right, up next is Giga's Power. This is Giga Power, right? Yeah, this is Giga Power's uh, Dinobots. So they're grasser. I forgot about them. Yep. Huh. So <laughs> they're coming out with their metallic, which I don't like the fact that they're all over the board. We we got the Snarl. We got the metallic version first, and then we got the chrome version, and people were bitching out. We need to get the chrome version first, so we get the chrome version of grasser. It's not the best. I had it once, got rid of it. But the metallic version, I think, looks better. Um, as far as the coloring, so it's, you can kind of see some of the accent colors are muted on the shoulders of the metallic one. And these doesn't have the little aquamarine coloring. It's got the silver legs instead of the black. The horns obviously are different. You can see the tail there. The chrome doesn't have any type of detail color on it where the yeah. metallic one does. And then even has this vent colored white. 
but then there's some uh, some outlining though on the Chrome. So okay, there's in Dino mode or differences between the two. There it is with the metallic snarl. Oh. So at least they're they look <laughs> about the same as far as the metallic color. I think the grasser and the the chrome version of grasser and the chrome version of gutter. They're kind of slightly off. Oh, the chrome was different. Yeah, I think. Yeah, even on the fan toys ones, they changed the their chrome too. It's very interesting. Here is the. I forgot the company. This is their War Within uh, Megatron Spartacus. They did the um, Optimus already. Spark toys. Spark. That's what it is. Spark. Yes. This looks really nice. Um, just as a standalone piece, or if you got the Optimus too. Yeah. But, um, makes me really want to get their Grimlock. It comes out. But yeah. damn. He's clean too. Not yeah, he is. That's pretty nice. I like the Titans, or not the Titan, the Titanium version of this, but um, this and this guy is masterpiece scale. Yep. Big. Beefy. Mm. Sword, fusion gun, all that. Yeah, I saw prototypes for this like two years ago at one of the NJCCs. It's they're definitely taking a long time to get these things out. Yeah, they are. But it's its own niche. At least no one else is doing this. So yeah. they got that going for them. Vehicle mode. Tank. You think those treads move? Looks like they do. Yeah. Yeah, it looks yeah, right, right there. I told you. And this will have die cast. Yeah. It's a weapon. That's for a weapon. All right, Make Toys Cross Dimension. This is their Thunder Airbus. This is their, I guess, Power Master Optimus Prime Nemesis look. Cool yeah. looking. So was this uh, Nucleon Quest, I think? Was that? Yeah, it could be kind of Nucleon. Yeah. Yeah. Did he have red windows? Oh, I don't think he did. This is yeah. yeah, this is more nemesis, I think. I don't know. I have to look. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know either. Huh. I don't know. It looks Russ, good. Russ, you getting this? Russ Russ disappeared. Russ said, Screw this <laughs> crap, I'm out of here. <laughs> I need to get to Toys R Us and get to himself something. Skeletron. <laughs> that doesn't look bad at all. The cross dimension line by Make Toys, I think, is really nice. I mean, I like what they're doing, their own take on stuff, but it it doesn't stray too far from the source material where you can't identify the character, obviously. But um, it's nice, especially if you're a chug collector. Mm. All right, here is Mastermind Creations reformatted Arrow Alpha. Their wing looks good really good yeah man it is nice yeah. i don't know if i'm in for this so wow oh russ is back sorry man oh it's cool what man. a cool i mean he's like a cool looking warrior damn yeah what a, i don't know much about the character at all but he looks cool <laughs> yeah flip oh, that sword was he going Rooney kenshin on us with the yeah yeah <laughs> must be it's so, awesome. want to kill anymore. I don't know if you guys listen to SCU, but they're saying this alt mode looks like an owl face. Like, uh, those, Why the fuck what, did you have to ruin it? Yeah. Fucking ass. Fuck you, SCU. Damn it. <laughs> Ugh. I can see it now. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Yep. God damn it, it is. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. Oh. Right, moving on. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, most of the mass migration stuff is a no-brainer for me, at least. I always pick it up. I like their stuff. TFC Toys, on the other hand, 
um, I do like their stuff, and I will probably end up picking up this guy. Their um, what is this guy called? Raging Bull or something? Yeah. Weird fucking name. Uh, um, yeah. This is based off of the Transformers Victory Brain Master Laster. Um, looks really good. Not sure about the wings here. Been trying to search for that. Is um, that not accurate? No, unless I missed something in the in the tune. The toy doesn't have that. Um, Wait, so I went back and I looked at the tune. He's got uh, these, and they're like they're down on his arm. Did the first picture have uh, wings? No, they're tucked in. Uh -uh. Oh, okay, back there. I see. So I don't know why they did it for this. I don't know. Like, hey, look, I can look like. I don't know. Point blank. Um, even the the European flame, it was just a redeco. They didn't do anything special with that either. But there's the the tune. Nothing there. There's a tune again. These flaps are on his shoulders, pointing downward. Um, not flared up. And there's the toy. So I don't know what they're doing. Huh. But yeah, they, I don't know. Buy two of them so you can have a totally different character. All, with all the chain bases in the background, maybe it's, uh, was this Ben's collectibles, maybe? Maybe he mistransformed I it. I saw, it was this, I got this off of Dame Chalk, so it might have yeah. been, I don't know. I take it back, those, there's not enough chain bases. Yeah, bases it would have gone all the way up. We wouldn't have seen yeah. that. <laughs> huh. Um, yeah, it's weird. The um, the frame, the skeletal frame for the arm looks weird. It comes all the way down, or it's up in there. I don't know. It's it's, it's interesting. Um, there he is next to the masterpiece saber. So they're in scale with each other. Here's the brain master gimmick, which is really cool. So you have the mouthpiece on the back of him right there. And he just opened up his chest. It's like the original. I don't know why they're using black or they don't have a laster. Um, throw that cell bitch up in there. And uh, I don't have a picture of it. You get that. So. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> and or if you don't want to use the gimmick, you have an extra head there. And there's all the different little accessories you get we saw the yeah raging bull we saw this last week but i do love the packaging going with that old school g1 to car look yeah pretty nice all right moving into uh this pick this is um what flame toys i believe i forgot what their names are <laughs> this looks nice drift yeah. is this transform? New drift yes no yeah. yes this is, is this is the thing that we saw a while back at a convention yeah I think um I don't think Maybe he transforms. He's an action figure. Yeah. Looks good. But damn, it looks really good. And this is an official product also. Yeah. Oh. Look at that freaking sword. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. So, um, if you like... Oh, fuck. I forgot their names. Oh. This is Mech Fans Toys. We like, who likes the KO the shit out of third-party companies, uh, which is funny. Um, they took... Um, oh, shit. What's their name? Name some of the Masterpiece Megatrons out there. Tron Viper just got them. DX9's Mitron. All right? Yeah, yeah, Mitron. They took that, and they downscaled them into a Legends class, I believe. Wait, really? I believe so. Wow. So, uh, Generation Toy, two pack. You get. Oh, I need to get this. Megatron oh, and Optimus cool. Prime. There, they'll go great with um, something that's going to come up here that probably make. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so there you go. <laughs> Looks good. And there it is. Transformation oh, Stunticons there. right there. This is what God. Team Havoc or whatever the hell they're calling it. Yeah, in all their glory. Look at them. Holy yep. shit. That's a good looking team right there. 
I don't know. Well, I think Motor Mash is a little off. I think he's a little too big. He's yeah. fucking beautiful. Look at him. <laughs> Heroic as they come. Look Heroic at his hands. Hand yeah, like, like, I'll beat your ass. I love it. Look at him. He looks great. <laughs> oh, man. No one. Yeah. I oh, man. Whip action. Yeah, I mean, it, man. <laughs> it's going to be one. Another, another combiner is going to be big as shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember that Motor Master is the same size as MP10. That's right. Correct? Yeah. Yep. So that's, this is a big, Amazing. big combiner. Amazing. I, I mean, I think I'm pretty, I mean, we pretty much know that a shit ton of this is going to be parts forming, right? So, I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? right that, yeah. So it's, I wonder if it's going to take any cues from the uh, fans project one. Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I know that one had a lot of weird. I don't know. Um, Motor Mask can do the Iron Man pose, so I, uh, that's a, that's a plus. He's he's fucking hmm. amazing. You can combine their individual weapons into one yes. large weapon for Menasaur. Another thing I really like. It's pretty cool. And then there you go. If you got the Generation Toys, which same company, Megatron, yep. you can have them climbing all over. Metasaur there. <laughs> this is the IDW style Metasaur. Oh yeah, but it's still still. <laughs> damn, looks good. Looks awesome. Well, I mean, that that pick right there. I mean, holy shit, taking on the little Optimus. Come here, Prime. Let me kick your ass. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well. Hi, you Prime. Yeah. Come here, little guy. I love this shit. That's great. So how many limbs do you have so far, Russ? I've only got two. I still haven't gotten Revolt, Revolt yet. I'm, I'm, I need to get him. <laughs> okay, so he's out, and then Motor Master's coming out here soon, right? Yeah, and Motor Master's coming out. Yeah, I mean, Dead End is going to be the last one out, I think. Okay. He's coming out soon, too. Cool. So I don't know how soon behind Russ, you Motor don't, Master. You don't collect a lot of combiners, do you? I forget. No, I don't. This 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 will actually be my first. This will be my first third party combiner. I've never. Oh. Yeah, I've got. I mean, I've got a bunch of the Combiner Wars combiners, but you know. Thou shall not. They're, they're cool, but they're not. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. They're just not a. No. I mean, the, the Stuntagon combiner for Combiner Wars stinks. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless you buy the, the, at least three or four of the add-on kits from like. Right, the, right, and, and and they help. They improve it a lot, but. I got them basically for their uh, for their their individual mold, modes because they separated. Yeah. But this guy, yeah, this, this stuff is good. This guy will be together. <laughs> He's uh -huh. gonna be all together. And I'm glad they they got these pictures out like this, unless it's Photoshop, because the yeah. last pictures we saw this guy combined, he's leaning up against stuff, and it didn't give me a lot I of know. confidence. Like, yeah, this thing's gonna be good. Yeah. Motor Master yeah, was mistransformed, kind of and all the panels were sticking out. His tire was busted, all that. But uh -huh. now they, they've. Um, it looks good. Oh, like that. All right, so Wei Zhang is upscaling the leader class of Megatron. So if you want an MP version to go with. Uh, yeah, oh, this would be uh, this would be like, taller than MP though, because that's MPP ten. Oh, that's MPP ten. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, is this their version of um, Movie Prime? Yep. The okay. evasion mode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn, that sucks. Because this would have been kind of cool to get with the masterpiece Optimus. So an Optimus is going to be like down to here. Yep. Uh, wake up, Charles. That sucks. I'm awake. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I don't know. I mean, really. Closed, if man. you can't stay awake and you need to go to sleep, you don't need to be on the show. Oh wait, he can do it. Somebody's like shit, dude. I bust my ass doing this shit. Tell him, Jamie. I, just, I don't need. On, that. Well, I need. Mean, come on, fuck. <laughs> I don't need to do this shit. <laughs> oh, I don't have sympathy for nothing. <laughs> just like I'm right? No sympathy, Mommy. <laughs> Want sympathy? Get a girlfriend. Oh no! Don't do that. Well, don't give me that. Oh, oh. <laughs> that goes away quick. Trust me. 
Oof. All right. So that is the news portion of the show. Let's move on into the kind of blast from the past type of stuff, which is not. It's we're just going to look at the um, the movies, the live action movies, and how far they've come, how far they've gone down. We're not going to sit here. I'm not going to try and sit here just bashing last night. I mean, you get a lot of that. From nerd we, rage. We can I know. <laughs> like we could do that an on hour ETR on that alone, and more probably. I know what you're saying, though. It would get boring oh, yeah, out for a minute, though. You know. We're gonna try and look at maybe some positives um, from each movie, and then we'll, we'll try and focus on some. Not focus, but we'll try and you know we'll we'll talk about some negatives also, um, and such. So. But I thought, why not? Just because the movie just came out, and um, I know Dust posted in the Facebook group the um, kind of bootleg version of last night. If you wanted to see it, so if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen any of these movies, this is going to be kind of spoiler heavy. Um, so we'll just go into it. I'm sure. I'm assuming y'all y'all seen the movies. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I haven't seen the last night, but that's intentional. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> it's all good. We'll save you some money. And again, yep, if you like the movies, listen. that's awesome. Um, yeah. if you don't like the movies, that's awesome. <laughs> you know, it it doesn't. You know, it's whatever you if you like it, cool. If you don't, cool. So we're gonna start off with the first one that came out in two thousand seven. Um, it is a you know looking at an anniversary already. Uh, yep. So it's so weird. It's been that long. I mean, it's like well, yeah. it's like ten, ten years. years yeah. yeah, Best uh, Best Buy has all of them. Ones that are out uh, on uh, in steelbook version. Cool. Yeah. Not bad. All right, so let's start off by saying we're not going to sit here and compare it to the G one because that's not fair. That's like taking, you know, car robots or RID and comparing to G1 or looking at Beast Wars or the Unicron Trilogy or Transformers Prime or Animated or RID or Rescue Bots because it's not going to compare. And we're just going to sit here just trashing the shit out of Bay Forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not, it's not a fair comparison. Um, all right, so... Moving on. Um, again, um, this is just funny pick. That's not what I look like. Optimus G1 Optimus Prime talking to the movie Prime. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> there was a. I don't know. There was a. If you guys watch Doctor Smooth, uh, you know he did a thing with the Energon O's or whatever commercial. Mm -hmm. G1 Optimus Prime is on there or whatever, and like the. The movie Prime came on. He's like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, flames. Give me a break or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Crack me up. All right. Do you guys see the Blast from the Past Transformers movie series live action up here? Uh-huh. Did yeah. you see that? That yep. wording? Why is that on there? Yep. I don't know. What's going on here? Oh, now know. it's gone. No one went away and now. then it's back. And now I see you. Hmm. Yeah. I see you. Hold on here. I think when you click on the photo, it was there. But. Okay. Let me uh, let me retry that. I don't know why I was doing that. It's weird. No, sir, I don't like it. It's still there. All right. Click no, on the photo. Let's see. Oh no! It's the next one. No, it oh, it's gone. Back. It's back. Yeah. It's I don't know why it's there. Hmm. So what was the what was the photo? I wasn't even looking at it because oh, the photo is um, Michael Bay. I'm gonna sodomize the '80s for a fourth time, and <laughs> nice. I'm saying never. <laughs> <laughs> and I get the fact, you know, we all think that you know Michael Bay raped our, as people have said, our, my G1. No one's gonna take away your G1 because it's yours. Yeah, yeah. It's yours alone. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but yes, did we get what we wanted? No, I get it. <laughs> um, but when the when the movie came, this is really pissing me off. That there. I wonder if these are all. 
if I click on it. Sorry. Um, it's bothering me. All good. It's all right, man. Oh, it's all good. There we go. Let's try that. Do, 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 do. And it's still there. You know what? Fuck it. It's all good. All right, moving on. So the original live action movie came out in 2007. Um, it helped feed the Transformers cause by giving us new product, um, I guess, new life into the series. Whether you liked it or not, I remember going to the theater, watching for the first time, looking at it, going yeah. like, man, are, what are these guys right here? Um, Optimus Prime, you know, Ratchet. We had Jazz, Bumblebee, Ironhide. Um, I thought of this. I thought of Bionicle. <laughs> yes, um, yes. I thought Michael Bay was like, you know what? I like those Bionicle characters, and I know Transformers will sell, so let's, um, let's do it. Um, or maybe he didn't get this, and he was pissed off that he didn't get to do the Bionicle movie. I don't know. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you get a lot of like similarities here. I mean, you can look at the characters. Do they not look kind of like Bay former characters? Yeah, they do. Like, I don't know. Revenge of the Fallen. I got this bionicle that looks like this. I think that should be the Fallen. Um, I don't know. But regardless, it took some time. I got into it. I, I enjoyed it for what it's worth after I got all my pissing and moaning out I um, I started to enjoy the movies for even with Sam fucking Sam you know uh, what? Sam didn't bother me I think he did all right it was a nice nod to have Peter Cullen as the voice of Optimus Prime so you got to hear that that voice that yeah voice yeah but it was yeah but it's not but it's not the Optimus Prime we remember, though. That's what makes it weird. Like, it tried to sounds like him, but I don't know. Yeah, true. Um, we got to see my worst, fucking worst character ever, Bumblebee. Um, <laughs> go into mute mode. Who just, uh, we got to talk, <laughs> he got to talk through the radio and all this type of stuff, which... Um, it was interesting. The 74 Camaro that he started off, and they went to the 2007 Camaro. Um, and everyone needed to get this vehicle. Oh, look, I got Bumblebee. Good for you. Um, it, it's cool, but I, I don't know. Did you like the fact that they made him that way? They took it, you know, I mean, Transformers Prime, Bumblebee was the same way. Did it help the character? Uh -huh. I, I I like the alt modes better on the well in Transformers Prime and I like the alt modes better in the movie for him because How about the I'm character the Bumblebee. True though? Yeah. Um, how he was mute, how he was talking through the radio. That's the only way to talk. Like I didn't care for that. I wish they would just give him a voice. It's just dumb. Yeah. They, there's a way of making him stick out more. I don't know, but as yeah. if the yellow wouldn't do it enough. But <laughs> um, even the humor. Did you like the humor, Bumblebee? I mean, how he just uh, stopped lubricating on the humans. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> but you know, there was some, some some things that are good, you know, that were okay. The you know the humor aspect. Yeah. I think they tried too hard sometimes, though. So. Yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but but I, I tell you what I do like. I I like that they kind of made Bumblebee a badass. Yeah, you know what I mean there were some there there are some good fighting scenes. One of my favorites, you know, scenes in is is uh Dark of the Moon when he uh when he I mean he fucks Soundwave up, dude. Wow. Oh yeah, we'll we'll get to that. We'll oh, get to sorry, that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, jump ahead. My apologies. We're in the first movie, Russ. The first yeah, yeah, movie. Russ. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. This jump ahead. It's just what I'm saying is how badass they made him. I like I like him. He, he we the got some here. more foreplay here. We're not climaxing yeah. to the you know the get go. Yeah, you can see the fight that he did with a barricade. Yeah, he had a good fight with barricade. Yeah, that that exactly. was good. That was a good fight. You know. Yeah. yeah. And that soundtrack too. That was when uh, I think the used came yeah. on. Was it? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't remember. It, yeah, yeah. As, <laughs> as corny and cheesy as the car chase was in a way, but in the picture yourself, 2007, just sitting there for the first time watching a trans this Transformers movie, live action movie unfold in front of you, and you kind of hear the music, and you're like, all right, this is, you know, like, okay, this is cool, you know? In a way, maybe not. Maybe I'm yep. just unsophisticated. No. <laughs> Until so all are one. Well, um, we got characters like Jazz. Yes. She was, you know, kind what? of a wasteful character. Um, oh, Jazz? Yeah, well, I didn't like the date. I didn't like the date. Spoiler. <laughs> well, well, no, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But, um, <laughs> I just didn't like that. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I, I don't know. I thought he he looked cool. I just wish they would have made him taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> and his little grippy hands. I don't know. I just does that scream yeah. friendly to you? If you had this coming at you, scary <laughs> <laughs> <Scooby laughs> claw. It's like here, Especially when he's like flipping around and saying "What's up, bitches?" or whatever he said. The World <laughs> Wide Web. <laughs> And on top of that, so the the entire movie line, let's put that out there first, from 2007 to 2017 is all the same universe. So um, everything that you're getting in these storylines should carry over at least a little bit to give you more of the history of the Transformers, but it is so messed up. Yeah, they keep times. changing the history. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, he, the spoiler that uh, Russ was talking about was here. Megatron decided to pull Jazz apart, and right? So, and and that, that that bothered me just because I, I mean, you got this character. You mean took the time to introduce him and everything, and gave him some lines, and then you, you know, and then you're just gonna have him get basically killed in that way. It, it, it was like, God damn, dude, come on. And again, we had some good uh, bots: Optimus Prime, Bumblebee. We had Jazz, Ironhide here. Who like to show off his cannons <laughs> and have dogs lubricate on his feet? But um, I, I love this Ironhide. I will admit, this Ironhide was yeah, that's I'm, fucking badass. You got me. Yeah, you all um, gonna hate me for this, but I like the movie Ironhide better than G1 Ironhide. So, um, <laughs> I don't want to go that far, but um, yeah. Um, As a new was, rendition of a character, I I did enjoy this Ironhide. Um, yeah, especially when he rolls around like a ballerina and everything <laughs> when he was taking on Brawl. Like wow, and he's flipping around using his cannons to propel him up. Yeah, you know, but, um, yeah, interesting. And what did he transform into? A kick. Kickstart? What? What the hell was that truck called? I forgot what it was. I don't know, but that was a big fucking truck. Yeah, it's size of a yeah. semi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, kick up, kick up, kick back. I don't know. Yeah. Um, we also got Ratchet the medic here that um, you could smell that uh, <laughs> Sam wanted to mate with the female. <laughs> <That's just> funny. <laughs> got a was, that, was, see, that was kind of. Funny. That was kind of funny, though. I like that. Yeah. Too. <laughs> uh, and as far as the bad cool. guys, uh, we got Megatron. And I always hated that he didn't capture another form, and he just yeah. looks like this. Just... Yeah. yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, turned into an alien jet. Found him at the Hoover Dam. All that. Uh, Starscream was pretty cool. F twenty two Raptor. I like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sniveling, not as conniving in a way, but um, no. but your no. typical like at least you've got that Megatron Starscream relationship. Yeah, yeah. Um, Megatron does make it a point of saying to him, you know, as always, you disappoint me or whatever, you let me down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he comes back in Revenge of the Fallen, right? Uh, barricade here, which uh, wasn't that bad of a. Character, yeah. I, I enjoyed him. Yeah, yeah, I like Barricade. He was cool. I just think <laughs> hated that that he only has that one scene with Sam, and then at the end you, you see him on the interstate with the others, but then in a the battle, you, like he just disappears. 
Yep. That's what I was but at least he lasted yeah. all the way through yeah. so far, yeah. which is really cool. So he's yeah. a survivor. So like, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Chuck, he sticks the middle finger up to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so we also have Frenzy here, which um, is an interesting character also. Takes around Sam. <laughs> and such. Uh, Bone Crusher. I'm not going to go through all the characters. Blackout. Um, so Blackout was like the first one we saw. That was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. This is Incinerator yeah. from Revenge of the Fallen, but I just it's the same stinking old. Oh, there he is, right there. Basically, his nemesis though was Lennox, which was funny. Like it, it started at the yep. base, and like, yep. and Lennox had to take it to the extreme. Which, um, yeah, Brawl here was badass. I liked him, but actually, they named him Devastator in the movie, if I remember correctly. Yeah, when they called yeah. Decepticons, you know, yeah, they yep. they said Devastator, which <laughs> was interesting. Oh, God. Corpinock, <laughs> which was attached to Blackout's backside, which is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which was kind of cool. I mean, most of these guys, like Barricade had Frenzy. I mean, they, most of them had like some type of... Yeah, I know. Okay. It's funny shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the story centered around the AllSpark here. The Q. Right. The other life item for the Transformers, which is funnier now, it's not the Merlin staff. Um, Still now, but yeah, it was at the Hoover Dam and all that, and it just took Bumblebee to like, oh, that's cool. He can downsize it. Now I thought that that was cool how they involved the Hoover Dam and the creation of it to mask the cube's energy signature or something like that. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah, that was yeah that whole that whole thing was that was cool. Um, it made sense and it was kind of believable. Yeah, so I like that. It wasn't going to be cheesy like we need to go to Area Fifty One for this, right? right. <laughs> some, some stupid shit like that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it worked. And then we got the human characters: Sam Witwicky, the grandson of Archibald Witwicky. Are you ladies man 227 or whatever his name was or all that kind of stuff when he's getting <laughs> tormented by barricade. But um <laughs> Yeah, um I don't know. Sam, oh god, it was it was cool at first, but I don't know. But we got <laughs> we Megan go. Fox here. Good screenshot, man. <laughs> that is nice. Um Good character, I think. I think that they had a good. I don't. I don't know. It it worked between I think her and Sam. Absolutely, it did. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I wish that she would have been able to carry through the whole first three stories. You know, the three movies. Yeah. And all that, but oh well. Yeah. She thought she was more than she was. I guess. <laughs> I, like, I like how they portrayed it as like a girl next door kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Agent Simmons here from um, what was it? Um, Sector Seven. Sector Seven. Yep. Yeah, the Men in Black as well. Yep. <laughs> and he carried yeah. all the way through the movies too, which is um, hilarious. Also, except I don't know, was he actually in Age of Extinction? I think I don't think he was. I don't think he was. He wasn't in Age of Extinction. But he was in last night. No. So back yeah. Back. Okay. So and then Lennox, he comes back in last night, but he's in all of them except for Age of Extinction 2. Yeah. Which, again, we're going to get into that. I mean, he is part of the government and he experienced all these Transformers and he becomes part of Nest, which is a collaboration between the government and the Autobots and all that type of stuff. As Epps would say, we've shed precious metal together and such. <laughs> but we had Epps here too, which, unfortunately, he wasn't in the last one. I mean, conflicting schedules with what Furious 8 or whatever the hell he was filming yeah I think so that's what I had heard yeah. something like so that and then we move into the next movie Revenge of the Fallen hmm. and Michaela's back I just let you guys know she's back Jesus <laughs> Christ <laughs> they're all back we get introduced to the Matrix which I was like okay that's the Matrix that's interesting uh, two sided <laughs> yeah. sharp object 
I uh, thought it was some kind of weapon. Yeah, I know. I thought it was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the ultimate nullifier type of thing. That's how you destroy Unicron. You stab them. Uh, but then we were also introduced to the Primes. Yeah. Which yeah. was interesting. And that how they they saw something in Sam. Sam comes back. His parents. We were introduced to Sideswipe. New Autobot. Which is cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's interesting. I do like his blades. I like the fact he's on skates. He uses tires yep. of skates. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. You got the, as they would say, the RC twins, but there's actually three of them, triplets, if I remember what Lennox said. But Chromia, Elite One, RC. Except we always saw Chromia, though, I believe. Right? Yeah, I think so. Um, good old mud flap and skids. <laughs> Comic relief. Hmm. I wasn't a fan of the twins. They were some shit talkers. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, they were shit talkers. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the robots suck. Uh, we got Jetfire, the cranky old Decepticon turned Autobot. Oh god, it's too funny. Um. Again, Revenge of the Fallen wasn't that bad. Um, he lost a little bit of his luster because the first one, at least, it's you know, it's it's like okay, this is new, different. Here, you're expecting more. Yeah, you kind of get let down. I mean, Jetfire sacrificed himself so Optimus Prime can armor up to his to a big freaking robot. <laughs> that, that was kind of cool. Mm. He took his parts on him. That was pretty yeah. badass. And how he like shakes that. him off at the end. Yeah. Where he's like, yeah. basically, like this huge honking dude. Like, yeah. yep. I'm a badass. Yeah. I'm on roids. Get this, get this corpse off. It's all good. <laughs> Megatron's back after he died in the first one. Gets rebuilt because they found a shard which was making Sam go batshit crazy. As his astronomy teacher says, I will not be punked in my own class in front of the dean. Starscream comes back, but he's tattooed now. That's pretty cool. I don't know where that came from. I don't yeah, know if we went into that somewhere. Or, yeah, I don't know if the Fallen dubbed him. Yeah. Sideways, who didn't really have a lot of screen time. But <laughs> cut down. We finally got Soundwave. It was a satellite, yep. which made sense, I think. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And Frank Welker was the voice. And he got that classic deep voice, which I love. And then he spit out Ravage, which we got Ravage. This was pretty cool. I like I liked Ravage. Yeah. Yeah, Ravage was pretty badass. And then we got Devastator. Which I thought like, all right, this is kind of we're gonna get a Devastator. And then I saw him like, wow. Interesting. Kind of believable, except he didn't. But the twins were able to, yeah, you know, survive they against him, which was weird. And then we had to know that he has balls. I mean, really, <laughs> took it to that, <laughs> to that extreme. Like, he's got balls. I thought that was, I thought that was funny though. It's like all these people <laughs> yeah. right next to that live around me, in my county. They always got those those balls hanging off the back of their pickup trucks. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> <I> just laugh. <laughs> So the main villain was the Fallen. Uh, All of the Decepticons. One of the Primes took out. He had the Matrix from. He needs a son. And then you got the famous, the, the turn of Optimus going dark now. Where he takes on the Fallen and it's basically he cuts off Megatron's arm. He takes on the Fallen and wow. what does he say? Give me your face or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, you wrecks you free. And then I rise, you fall. Yeah. So, all right, moving into now Dark of the Moon, where Optimus really goes dark. <laughs> this is, he does some crazy shit in this movie. Oh, yeah. But then there's yeah. there a funny scene in Dark of the Moon that it makes me laugh. I'll get, wait till you get to it. You'll probably get um, to it. Oh, the one scene that I love is um, so Sam comes back, but now there's no longer Michaela. We have Carly. Right. Okay, who works be- for. Um, big dreamy, whatever. Big dreamy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> forgot his name. <laughs> Can't buy me love star. Um, Patrick but, Dempsey. Yeah, Patrick Dempsey. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know. I still, I you know, Michaela. I don't know. She, I don't know. This, this, this new one's pretty. Like, you know, it's funny. Only in the movies could a dork like Dad though go from one hot one to a hotter one. Get out of here. Yeah. That, that pissed me yeah. off. <laughs> and John Malkovich's character was a little over the top, but it was it suit him in a, his role in the movie. But the the moment I liked, at least I found hum, humor, is when he was leaving this facility and he's trying to get his car to start. And he's just beating the shit out of it. <laughs> you know, he's, he's kicking it, he's kicking it, kicking it. And Patrick Dempsey shows up like, uh, having car problems? No, 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 no. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Ironhide comes back. Sideswipe comes back. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Ironhide gets uh, killed. Pretty brutal, too. Yeah, by, by, yeah. by, by a new I, I character. Hope. I love him. He's badass. Sentinel Prime, <laughs> who is voiced by the late great Leonard Nimoy. Indeed. <clears throat> Sentinel yep. Prime, yeah. And um, Sentinel Prime and Megatron were in cahoots with each other, which is like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. well, you learn of the dark side of the moon. Another aspect of the story, which is like, why wasn't yeah. that kind of played out in the first two? Or even like, oh, there's a space yeah. If you guys think about it, though, it's not really weird because he thought, Sentinel Prime thought the way to save their planet was to, he needed, the Decepticons and Autobots needed to work together. True. Now, it just so happens he went the, he went the whole, we're going to enslave Earth. and uh, <laughs> Yeah, he just went a little bit too <laughs> right. much on the one side. Right, right. That yeah. was a little bit, but you know, I, I get where, I get his thinking. You know, his thing was we've got to sacrifice this planet for our own. Yeah, you know, and again, nice Megatron. Thing. Megatron had a cool alt mode. I liked his little like Mad Max tanker truck look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it would have been nice if he could have. You know, everyone else can change their alt modes. Why the hell can't he fix himself? And he didn't he have like those little things like fixing his face the whole movie? Yeah, those <laughs> like, little insect oh, things. Yeah. Yeah. things. Professor, like a hood. Remember, he was like a hood on his yep. face. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um. What else was there? Um, it took Carly, though, to call him a punk bitch to get him to finally that get was, into the fight, which was like... Yeah, I, was, I, mean, I, I, actually, I actually thought that was funny. It was like, get the fuck out of here. You, <laughs> you told me she got Megatron. Megatron got, had to get her amped up by this chick, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we also got another character, Dino. Unfortunately, it was supposed to be Mirage, I believe, but we have Dino. Which, what happened to Dino? Just yeah. and vanished. I don't even remember this character. Maybe he got melted no. down and whacked. <laughs> yeah, know. that's yeah. We're getting to that. Don't worry. <laughs> we also got um, we got introduced to the wreckers. Um, not the, yeah, the good wreckers. wreckers. We got <laughs> NASCAR redneck wreckers. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure I can imagine what the code of the uh, a reaction was to see those guys. <laughs> <laughs> was I don't that know. These are the really. wreckers. <laughs> they remember, Man team. You remember when they were having they were making the um they're making the Autobots leave the planet, remember? Yep. And he said they they could have the records were records working on the uh, the, the ship because that's that's because that's where they uh, it's safe to keep them there because they're so stupid and barbaric and shit. They're they're so like yeah, they're just yeah. Ass, they're assholes. Yeah, they're the assholes, <laughs> right. Yeah. So we just want to keep them here so we don't have to deal with them, you know. But we got Roadbuster here. And they all had what? They're Australian, I think, weren't they? I think so. They were all. Yeah. I think they were all some kind of Aussie or yeah. English accent or something. Got yeah, top spin. Yeah, they turned like into stock cars, but they had yep. Australian accent. Yeah. Yep. And they had their robotic sentient beings that they could change their voices any way they wanted. But we'll oh, do yeah. it this way. And then we had Leadfoot. <laughs> Leadfoot. Yeah. So we had. <laughs> it was interesting to see these guys. Uh, we were introduced to Q. Um, not with Jack. It was Q. The uh, Einstein looking, just, I don't know, that freaked me out seeing this dude. Yeah, really. <laughs> the little, like, light fibers for his hair. I mean, really? Dude, they don't have to look like this. It's so stupid. This is where it started getting really bizarre. And, like, I get the fact you saw season three and you saw Retgar with facial hair. You saw Scourge with some facial hair. I get it. But 
it doesn't translate that well over to maybe live action. Um, yeah, it might. He might have been trying to make it make him look more humanoid, have more humanoid appearance, so we can, can relate better to it. I don't know. It's uh, sure there was some yeah, artistic, you know, artistic thing behind it, but yeah, I don't know. But there's Q, and we got introduced to Jetwing Optimus Prime. He got the cool trailer that he was carrying around with him that had all his weapons and stuff, and he had this Jetwing in there. He's flying around, saving Chicago. From the invasion, and this is what Russ was talking about, <laughs> playing the Superman role. And this yeah. is the whole thing where they had to go off, and you know, humans said, "Get yeah. the fuck out of here." Which, again, every single movie, we we hate the Transformers. We understand, oh, they're actually good. Okay, we'll team up with them. Next movie, oh, we hate the Transformers. We'll team up with them. This one, get the hell out of here. Get on the shuttle. Get the hell out of here. Um, <laughs> next movie, we're going to hunt them again. Next movie, we're going to hunt them again. It's just hilarious. Okay, the yeah, Decepticon yeah. Shockwave here, I think, was pretty cool. I think he's well designed. Pretty badass. Yeah. Him and his, his pet. Yeah, his pet was really badass. <laughs> yeah. Especially the effect of taking out the building. I'll admit, yeah. that was nice. Soundwave here, I like the fact that he got a new look. Got himself a new alt mode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got Laserbeak, who actually talked. He was a foul mouth turkey bird vulture. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's the. Um, look over that's, is that, that's that Laserbeak's little uh, bumblebee mode. <laughs> yeah, that's his bumblebee mode. <laughs> that we saw him do, and then they're making the Transformer figure of it. <laughs> And we were introduced to the Dreads, the Decepticons, I guess, version of the Wreckers, who were the SU, FBI F, SUVs. So, oh, I thought these these remind me of the dudes from the Matrix. Remember? Yeah, yeah. In, uh, <laughs> yeah. In those white suits. Yeah. Uh, we got like crankcase. We had um. Oh, shit, I forgot their names now. Well, I guess that's what they call them now. Uh, yeah, that looks like he transforms into an SUV. I mean, come on. Yeah, both Jeez. of these, all three of these, they transform, but yeah, I forgot their names. I'm sure someone in the chat will remember. God damn. Frank Case. Oh, uh, I can't remember. And unfortunately, we didn't get these guys in deluxe form. We got them in the Legends class. We got, well, we got Crank Case. We got this guy. But we didn't get the other two, unfortunately. So, yeah, before we go to the next movie, James, um, so, you know, Leonard Nimoy, of course, he, he voiced Sentinel Prime. Yeah. I went to the movie and watched this with my little brother, mm -hmm. who's 12 years younger than me. And uh, so during the battle scene, uh, Sentinel Prime says, he says the line, he says, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, I think is what he said, right? Yeah. A and I'm sitting there, I'm like, ah, oh, that was great. And my brother's like, I don't get it. Star Trek. I'm like Wrath of Khan. He's like Wrath of what? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yep, I love, yeah, that was good. <laughs> All time <laughs> greatest Star Trek movie is the Wrath of Khan. But he's, yeah. he's like, he's like, I don't understand. I'm like, he's the voice of Spock. He said that. He's like, what? And I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gone on him and said, "That's that's Kelvatron from the '86 movie." Oh, he wouldn't have even known that. Yeah. But um, yeah. And so there's dreads now. Moving on to the next movie, Age of Extinction, where we found out what the Romeo and Juliet law was in Texas, which is uh, interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, cool. I think there's more to that law than. Yeah. Law. <laughs> Again, I think some others have. <laughs> Stated the same thing. If that dude was dating my daughter, I'd, I'd, I'd fuck him up big time. I don't give a shit about no law. <laughs> I don't care. Mm. Um, Back of the knees of the bat, my friend. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All good. <laughs> but we got introduced to Cade Yeager, Mr. Marky Mark. Damn right. Look at that. Yep. Got them good vibrations, baby. Woo. He does have the good vibrations. That, that funky bunch in him are creating a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not selling, and they're about to lose their house. But he's a crafty guy. He's <laughs> siphoning electricity from the neighbors. 
which is and that's kind of funny. <laughs> which is interesting. His daughter there. Anyway, so he's got a hot dog. Lead. Great. <laughs> so hey, so just FYI, right? I was I was reading an article, and it's like if you take a shot every time you see an American flag in a Transformers film, like you'll just fucking be wasted by the end of the movie. And you just picked two pictures in a row that had it. So I just thought that was funny. I never even, never even looked for that. I know what I'm doing on the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame you. All right, so we saw the morph of... Optimus from the first three movies go into this new form. Now, yes, we did have the invasion mode look where he's stuck in a movie theater and such, but um, which one do you like more? The original kind of look, or do you like this newer kind of sleeker armored look? Uh, the new one, I think he it looks like he's wearing a corset. Because he's got like a really skinny waist, okay, and big ass hips. Man, but, body shape. Um, but I do. Well, this one's all leg. Yeah. Well, so. looking. Yeah, but looking uh, past that, I kind of like the new one a little bit more. But I don't know. I miss the windows on the chest. Right. Right. That's right. what yeah. I was saying. Yeah. yeah. The old one, you could tell that he transforms into something like a video of kind of vehicles. Yeah. Like the new yeah. one, yeah, you can barely yeah. tell. Yeah. That, man. Yeah. yeah, that is true, Russ. Definitely. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I like the original look a little uh, bit better, just because, like what Russ said, he trans. You can see him as a yeah. transformer. I also like the fact that they had energize, you know, energy weapons instead of having to always have a sword and. Yeah, shield and all that type of stuff. Yeah, um, I mean, like, what happened? They decided to the arms race was done. They're like, okay, we'll put down our energy weapons. We'll just use swords and blunt objects and harsh language. <laughs> um, it just I don't know, kind of weird. All right, uh -huh. so Age of Extinction. Um, unfortunately, Ratchet didn't make it. Hunted down by lockdown. That's just too bad. Hiding in a ship, though, which was funny. Leadfoot also got killed, but I didn't get the picture of it, unfortunately. Uh, introduced to other characters, Crosshairs, which I don't even think we even needed him. Even in the last movie, he was kind of like, yeah, yep. to me at least. But we did get a lot of robotic action and robots in the Age of Extinction opposed to the last night, which we'll go over in a little bit. Introduced to John Goodman's great portrayal of Hound. Yep. <laughs> like, hey, he, he he's a badass man. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got the cigar going. He's a fat ballerina. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was good times. Uh, Drift. Another one is pretty badass. I like him too. Yep. Yeah. It was a triple changer. You got the helicopter. And you also got the car, but I don't have a picture of it. And then we we're introduced to the Dinobots, which I'm, I got to go back and rewatch it again. Were they knights or were they just? I think Prime said they were They were, they were ancient knights of Cybertron. Yeah, he did call them the knights. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. they were knights. All right. So there's a lot of knights out there. Interesting. So we got Grimlock. We got Slug. Oh yeah, and that's why they're knights. Like you see, they have their helmets on and whatnot. And yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, I should have seen that. I guess I'm just not astute. I'm not the analyzer. Just, oh, yeah. I just get the facts wrong. I don't know. There's there's slug. I like to call him slag. Yeah. Which they really didn't have a function as far as just they were just a tool. It worked. Uh, we got Scorn here. That's where he kind of reminds me of the Black Knight. Yeah. From Monty yeah, Python. Yeah. Yeah. It's got, like, the bucket, the bucket head up. Yep. yep. And he transformed into the Spinosaurus. And we got Strafe, a.k.a. Swoop, the two-headed pterodactyl, which I don't know where that came from. 
Yeah, I don't know. Is this, it's like, this is what I mean. It's just overkill. You could have just had one hand and been fine. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I, he was still all right, though. He was pretty cool. I, I liked the Dinobots. I thought they were all right. I was yeah. just disappointed that they were only in the movie for a short time. I will but, um, I will say this. Looking back when we – we like to nitpick the crap out of all the Transformers stuff, which is fine. And, yeah, and like, the movie, when we first saw the trailer, we're like, oh, I wonder who that two-headed, like, dinosaur monster uh-huh. thing is. And we all thought, you know, it was Double Cross. Or we thought, no, because it can't be, like, a Terracon. You know, and we're, we're thinking all this type of stuff. And we're thinking, okay, now we see Grimlock and how big he is. Like, they must be taking on something really, really big. Right. But we thought, like, the Stunticons, because we saw that truck. We saw this yeah. and we saw that. And it was nothing. <laughs> it was nothing yeah. that dealt with any of that it shit. Was. It was it just was like, all right, cool. And speaking of the truck, there's Galvatron. It came Megatron. It yeah, came is... a large Iron Man suit. <laughs> um, well, it's just weird that he has a reactor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and more of a human face, like... When... Yeah, when we when we get when we get to what we're talking about the last night, I want to ask everyone who's seen it a question about that. Okay, and we have Stinger here, which they all had that new cool power, the trans yeah transform, yeah. which is weird because we'll talk about it in the last night here. Bumblebee has something that's kind of in a way like that. Well, not uh, well. Yeah, I don't know. We'll talk about. It. Okay, we got lockdown, Gunface. We all thought this was the hand of Unicron. <laughs> nah, it was just a ship. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we're moving into the last night. So we got a little basis off of the previous four. Now you'd think Age or um, Age of Extinction, yeah, the last one would carry over into this movie as far as maybe story. More so. Give us a little more in depth of what the hell Optimus was doing. Because he left Earth with the seed, which is a means of turning organic material into cyber form or into, into metallic material. So basically creates Cybertron and all that. He leaves. He goes up into space, which I didn't know he had that much jet propulsion and energy and all that to do that. So that's pretty cool. And he leaves. Dinobots take off into God knows who knows where. I don't know. Whatever. Cade's a hero. Um, what's his face from the company? He says, I can help you out with your inventions. You know, let's talk. Let's do all this. That's how it pretty much ends. Happy. Yay. Now we get the last night. Starts off. We're in the old Camelot days. Or no, no. I think we see Optimus floating in space, right? Yeah. He's, yep. just, he's cold, floating lifeless and then we go into the camelot days where we have king arthur merlin is played by the same guy from age of extinction which i can't remember his name stanley tucci yeah stanley tucci um which right then and there i should have known this is going to be shitty because (laughs) i mean come on he's playing merlin he's playing merlin and he's he's begging the transformer to lend him his their power. Yeah, and, and yeah. Merlin's like he's a drunk and he's a fraud. <laughs> yeah. He's like I will, you know, I'll, I'll I'll do this, do that, but I won't, you know, give up women or whatever the hell it is. But he's like, they're like, okay, here, here's a staff, and um, you know, and we'll help you out. And so Dragonstorm or whatever comes into play and wipes out the enemy. And then they form a knighthood around the round table along with the Transformers. Boom. There's our plot. Like, huh. really? So, right there. It's interesting. The knights. I will say that guy looks pretty cool. Mark Wahlberg's back. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I mean... You got a government group now. There's, there's what sectioned off spaces and towns that you can't go into because of the transformers. It, it reminds me of Batman's No Man's Land. I don't know. Yep. 
The government's yeah. just like quarantine that section off. He goes in there to help out. There's a girl that's in there that we get. Um, Agent Simmons is back, but he's you know he needs to go play some soccer on the beach, but he's trying to help out at times. Uh, get introduced to this gal, Isabella with a Z, um, who played no nothing in my opinion. No, no importance to the story, right? <laughs> nope, yeah. nothing. I don't think she. No, nothing. It, it didn't bring Kate back to being a like. Oh man, he's just far off on his own sadistic ways, and she's gonna bring him back to humanity. No, nothing. She has squeaks, and then she had Canopy as her little friend bodyguard until he kicked the bucket. Yep. Um, then we were introduced to. Let's get this picture. This picture. Um, Vivian, who is a descendant of Berlin, I believe. Yep. Yep. And she yeah. can only she's the only one who can wield the staff. So she was an important part. And Cade here was the last knight. So he's the last knight. He goes into this little ship and he gets this little artifact that attaches to him and runs all over the place on him and magically gives him a sword when he needs it. Is interesting. Even Sir Anthony Hopkins, I don't think, could save this movie. <laughs> it was cool to see him in there and see him kind of like being hip, I guess, especially his banter between yeah. him and, and, with Cogman. He, I goes that was to, cool. he goes to Walbury. He's like, You want to know the truth, don't you, dude? Yeah. I was <laughs> like, What? <laughs> uh, it, it was interesting. And there, right there, is Hot Rod, who has a French accent. Yeah, I can see him looking in the window. And, hey, and, we, we, and he, he hates the French accent, but he can't get rid of it. Is that what yeah. he said? Yep. <laughs> I, yeah, I think so. There is a, there's one funny part where um, Kate is hiding out in a junkyard, of all places. He's got the Dinobots there, and we'll, we'll see some other pictures here in a second. But Trailer comes up. Trailer. I mean, come on. The names. We had Canopy, and we have Trailer, who is voiced by Steve Buscemi, I believe. No, Day Trader. Oh, is Day Trader? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, Day Trader. Oh, Day Trader. Okay, well, Day whatever. Trader. It's still a sh- shitty name. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I agree. Oh, I agree. <laughs> but he comes out with the co- or the little what voice cog, whatever the hell it was. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, something. And so they're going to operate on um, yeah, Bumblebee and Cade. Then you know, test out Isabella about how you can you do this and blah blah. blah. And she earns her worth, I guess, to stay on his little reservation. And um, he gets the voice of Siri, Bumblebee. Yeah. Which was <laughs> a lot more swearing, yeah. a lot more swearing in this movie. Yeah, which, dude, I think they said shit like 50 times. Oh, yeah. Bumblebee was like, this is bullshit. Yeah. I'm going to beat that guy's ass or and all that. You know, I don't know. I think it was humorous, but it. I was like, what yeah. the hell? And the other guy that was partnered up with Cade. Yeah. He got off of Craigslist or whatever. I, there was no yeah. real point to his. Yeah, part in this whole thing either. Yeah, I think like Cade said shit like three times in one sentence once. I was like, Jesus Christ. It's not for kids, I guess. His daughter not being there because she's in college and he calls her but can't speak because they'll find out where he is and all that kind of horse shit. Um, Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. But on the other hand, though, uh, the Transformers are being hunted again. Uh, by another group, which is interesting. Um, Cade's got better technology now for his weapons. And uh, Crosshairs is back. Doesn't really play an important part. He still wants to take over for some odd reason. <laughs> yeah. Which is interesting. Uh, Drift is still his kind of... I don't know. What's his... Um, no, I can't think of the word right now, but samurai. Yeah, no, not yeah. samurai, but he's in that Zen <laughs> mode still. Like yeah. he's he's balancing himself on one of the junk heaps and everything else yeah. and all this stuff. And yeah, it, but again, he didn't really play a part. There was not as much robot just interaction or stuff, I think, in this movie than there was in Age of Extinction. Yeah, true. I was reading um, an article where they said it was very racist that they gave him a yellow face. Face. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I'm still, well, 
I have no idea what Bay was thinking, but um, Hound's back, which is pretty cool. But I get, I wanted more banter. I mean, he had a little bit. He didn't. He doesn't like the Dinobots. Yeah. Now that's one thing I want to know. All right, hold on. Here's Squeaks. We get introduced to this dude. Man, he spelled his name wrong. Well, that's how it's spelled. Yeah, it's yeah. Sad. Uh, oh wow. Well. Um, kind of peg leg. <laughs> yeah, he's now. Is this Michael Bay's version of just fix it? Fix it, or we need a handicap? robot in there i don't know <laughs> yeah um yeah he didn't really play a part his, his arm came off and then she replaced it isabel replaced it with the decepticon arm oh like such, really which had that huge gun arm. yeah 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 but again he didn't play anything in the didn't even transform so uh there he is right there yeah and the whole junkyard i think was just a a rip of R.I.D. Um, where that's where yeah. Bumblebee's team is based out of is a junkyard. There's Cogman. He, I actually enjoyed his character just because, oh, now you're on my shit list. And he was just a prick of a butler. Yeah. <laughs> the guy. Yeah, the spots there is kind of annoying. Like, how he attacked Cade for saying something to um, Vivian. I don't know, but man, he was choking the shit out of Cade. That was hilarious. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. But he has dishonored you. Like, wow. This guy, and he's like, I, you have anger issues. I know. I know. I have anger issues. Like, really? Can't you reprogram uh, yeah. yourself? There's Canopy. Good old Canopy. Megan Fox 2.0. The greatest education. Oh yeah, definitely. And yeah, did we really need the scene where they're um, she's hanging out with her family and they're trying to get her? Yeah, as, uh, yeah like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like really? you like dungeons, right? Oh, we get the, this guy and all this, and I don't know. Is Dragon Storm? I thought there was a big save. Yeah, or aka uh, King Ghidorah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking. Works for me. Mecha King Ghidorah. Okay. All right. So, Pretty what's much. up with the uh, what's up with the Dinobots? The, the little baby Dinobots in the show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, did they explain us? No, I don't. I don't. I don't no. know you guys, I no. didn't see anything. I just saw like, oh, Cade was happy that little baby Grimlock can have fire. Right. And he's and, about to burn up your damn trailer. Yeah. She's like, what's up with that? And like, oh, look at the babies around the bay fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not mass shifting. Like Grimlock was like, like shrinking down to this little character. Um, we never did see any of the other Dinobots. I don't think as much as Grimlock. But, yeah, I think Slug, uh, Slag, whatever his name is, did show back up. Did he? Like the scene yeah. in the town. Did in the he? town scene. In there. I could have sworn he did. But again, if you have the Dinobots, what are you scared of? I yeah, know, right? Pretty bad ass. Yeah. I mean, yep. Especially Strafe. All right, moving into the villains here. Quintessa. Interesting character. Um, yeah. Quintessa but not, a, not enough. All right. Um, just like background and story. Uh, they pretty much can, so they pretty much switched up the Quintessons, the Quintesson from Energon and uh, Solus Prime in her. And the uh, the the Queen Borg from First Contact. Yeah, yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> she kind of reminds Thank me a little bit. Of yeah. Right. <laughs> you know? But yeah, it's, it's interesting. There she is. How come her eyes aren't evil? Yeah. <laughs> well, there she is. Um, Optimus crash lands on Cybertron. And he wonders what happened to his world, which contradicts what he already knew that his world knew, was yeah. sucked already because of Megatron. Um, hence why you guys left. Um, but 
he uh, decides to try and take out Quintessa, which she decides ain't having that. I'm going to turn you into an evil person, but your nemesis prime. Cool. He didn't fulfill his contract and kill Bumblebee, though, which ticked me off. So, oh, I don't have a picture of Bumblebee. So, Bumblebee could. T did you like the fact that he could blow apart and then come back together? Oh, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. It was, well, that it was was stupid. I don't. It didn't need to be there. No. I mean, Cade needs help in the restricted zone. Bumblebee charges in there, and then he gets blown up like real fast by the humans. Boom! He's done, and he's all it's over the place. Up. But it then his up. parts and bits are now attacking everyone, and then he comes <laughs> back together. I'm like, huh? Really? Yeah. See, this has been my problem prob with this whole series. It's a little too damn easy for the humans to kill them. Well, it was just one of those heated the cyber sa shells or sabo rounds. Yeah, yeah the sabo yeah. rounds. Whatever. But, um, and then if they could test that acid that um, Sentinel Prime had, they could really yeah. do some damage, but it was just weird. And then, you know, to bring Nemesis Prime back to Optimus Prime, it took Bumblebee using his original voice, which I thought he couldn't do. And he's like, what, what did he say? I'm your friend, Optimus. I've always been your friend. Or I've, I'm your oldest friend. Your oldest friend. I'd fight with you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bumblebee. Yeah. And that just triggered him <laughs> real quick. Bumblebee. <laughs> My friend, what have I done? Sound of your voice. I haven't heard it since a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I would have been like, "Damn, that's your voice." <laughs> and then, and then the those uh, like a bee. Yeah, and then those knights, <laughs> those knights come. Yeah. Like, I like shit out of them. It's like they're gonna kill me now because I did bad things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's telling Cade like, Cade, <laughs> they're gonna kill me now. So, um. Good luck with <laughs> Cybertron now gonna take over. And they're they're coming through Stonehenge. Yeah. So we now know the purpose of Stonehenge. So it's the means of Beast Wars was correct. It, but instead of Unicron, it was a link to Cybertron. Um so that was interesting how the knights and then Cade finally utilized his little knight powers and had a sword and he was able to take out one of the knights, like really. Yeah, so he like he had like a He Man like I have the power moment. Yeah, I have yeah. the power. I'm thinking it. Holy shit! I was thinking the same thing. Michael yeah. rips everybody off. Like, like, damn. I'm sitting there in the theater like, oh god, how much longer? Is it this? would have been great if he did hold up the sword and says, "Oh, the last night!" <laughs> Scream that out. It's a bolt of lightning came down and he just like his shirt rips off <laughs> by the power of Cybertron <laughs> Some stupid, like, oh my goodness. and then all of a sudden the knight's like oh well I guess we serve you so now yeah. we don't have to kill Optimus and then Optimus plays with brothers knights come with me and we're gonna take out Quintess and like okay cool he's like I'll never do bad <laughs> yeah. things again I've been a I'm bad sorry. robot <laughs> Until like the next minute, he's killing something. And then he disappears. <laughs> the next moment, he he disappears. Like we need to attack the central hub or whatever of yeah. where Quintess is to yeah, get the staff gets back. Off, and I'm like, where the hell does he go without you? And they're the, and then they're all just getting the crap beat out of him. And then where's Optimus? He's flying around on Dragonstorm or whatever. It's like, <laughs> fucking prime. <laughs> all right. So getting into some more stuff. I wish that the Decepticons had more. Um, Megatron was a cool looking, you know, robot opposed to what he okay, was yeah. in like, you know, the, the, the other four movies, I this think. Is, this yeah. comes back to what I wanted to ask you guys about. Okay. Now we know what happened to him in age of extinct age of extinction. He got, he basically, they he rebuilt him a new body, cool. right? Yeah. And, and they yeah. did, okay. Now he was, he was Galvatron. But we know he was Megatron anyway. That's just what the humans call him. Yeah. Where did that body go? <laughs> the body just decided to go away. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I don't, they, they, they didn't explain it at all. They didn't say like that he got it up. They upgraded him, so they, they just said, boom, it's another fucking robot. That's it. And they said, no, no. Oh, the first time we see Megatron no is he's in the the restrictive zone. And Lennox is part of this new operative team that's hunting down the Transformers, but he's a spy. He actually is working for the U.S. government for the general that we've seen in all the movies. We see Barricade rolling around, you know, into the restrictive zone, and he goes into this, like, alleyway where Megatron is. And um, they're looking for this new power, which, uh, you know, all of a sudden, they, you know, they need this relic that Cade has that he took. Oh, and that's how we first see Megatron, but they don't go into like, hey, Barricade, you like my new body? No, they don't do any of that. Nah, Barricade nah. stacked nah. with some brass knuckles, some chains and stuff, which we'll see here in a second, but um, they needed to develop Megatron a little bit more. I mean, he looked badass. I like the character, look, uh -huh. vehicle mode, all that, but um, not enough. Even the battle scene here that we see in the town, right. um, they got the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> uh, and, really, they did. Uh, and the whole thing is the government's using them aka I and mean, everyone's already said this but kind of like the suicide squad suicide squad mm -hmm. yeah, remote. yeah so and he's the, in yeah. with the government now to help to help the government but he's not really because he's in cahoots with quintessa so uh, well, yeah and, i mean that fits that, that would that's something megatron would do though he is a treacherous fucker oh so yeah that, you know, but the way that, that it, at least it played out i don't know how you guys liked it but when they're meeting at the desert and lennox is showing up and he has lawyers of all people they put out these freaking folding tables and shit <laughs> megatron yeah. flies in flies in and um, demands that he needs a team if he's going to do this. And, like, now they're negotiating. And I'm like, really? <laughs> to me, yeah. that just... Michael Bay gave the finger to the Megatron character. Yep. He would never... Yeah. He, wouldn't, he, wouldn't, yeah. he would demand or just do. He's not going to like, hey, well, you know, oh, I can't have, I can't have Berserker because he's, he's too wild and crazy. Okay, yeah. well, I want Onslaught. And then he just has like a Temper tantrum and throws his axe into the ground. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, <laughs> um, stupid." I need Mohawk. I need and these other characters. And I'm like, "Wow, okay." And yeah. you know, I I knew not to get my hopes up of seeing like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna get Onslaught, Bruticus." Nah, that didn't even occur to me. I didn't even think anything of it. I'm like, "Oh no, we're not gonna no, not happen." But there's Megatron. I think it looks good. He looks yep. really awesome. I think he's just, yeah. It might be the best looking Megatron to me of all the movie Megatrons. He's probably the yeah. best. Oh yeah, really. definitely. Um, Squeaks and, comes out to save Isabel, or no, Isabel comes out to save Squeaks or something because Megatron sees him. But he has a Decepticon arm, so he kind of thinks, "Oh, he's part of the team," or and just throws him aside. Something like that. I don't. I don't remember. I'm, it, I'm trying to forget the movie at times, but. Again, Megatron really didn't have a they didn't even have an epic battle. Him and Prime, it was short lived. Wow. Yeah. He threw him through the building and he flew off. I'm like like the eighty six well, movie in a way. Yeah, I mean that's Yeah. But yeah. that 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 does that does kind of jive with Megatron in, in every incarnation. When Prime beats his ass, he's take he leaves. He rolls out, you know. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't even like put up a fight. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, he at least will put up a fight and then get his ass beat and then leave. Seriously. At least in the two thousand seven movie, he put up a fight. Oh yeah. Revenge uh, of the Fallen. He put up a fight. At least he had his other guys around him, and he killed yeah. Prime. And then he got his ass kicked when he teamed up with Fallen. But I don't know. Here's Barricade, who I wish had a little more. Um, character development yeah. too yeah and, and and more screen time than he did yeah yeah I mean, here's here's a case but, where you got a great character they, they they've already they've got him in the past movies they've got some so you could have easily worked with him a lot more and and it sounds like he wasn't even in the movie that much that's terrible no starscream did make an appearance um <laughs> well, like part, a, part of 
<laughs> they brought what would you say part of him? Yeah, his head. That so that's okay. So literally, that they but they brought his old head. Day Trader had his head. Said he found this, and then when Megatron infiltrated the junkyard, he saw that and said something like, "I don't know what he said," and then just dropped it. What is it like? Kid. I miss you, my I miss you, or something, or I don't. Yeah. Know. <laughs> He's a I will finish what running. you started, Starscream. Yeah, God, man, <laughs> dude, that's no. insane to me. Oh. There was no tender moment. Oh God, onslaught was there, which. I don't know, really have a lot. He's a devastating warlord. Brutish, trigger, happy punk. Okay. God. That's what that description says. Cool. All right, so um, <laughs> that, was the De- that was the Decepticons. Unicron, we find out, is Earth, like Transformers Prime. He has what? Yeah. Was it six horns that popped up out of the ground and yeah. Stonehenge was in the center of that whole mess? Oh, and it, in a way, it seemed like Unicron was the good guy because his yeah. horns only appear when Cybertron is near. Ooh, that rhyme. Mm-hmm. Um, so <laughs> it was interesting. Who knows if they're going to have a, a, another one. They did allude to it with um, Quintessa escaping and having a human form and telling some human that I can tell you what those horns are. It's Unicron, blah, blah, blah. And that was it. But how did you guys like the movie? And then give me a scale of one to ten. One being, you know what? Michael Bay can go F himself. Ten, you know what? I love this movie so much, I'm going to buy everything that is related to it. <laughs> wow. What are the odds we get a ten? I mean... <laughs> Oh, I'm sure there's people out there that like it, and that's say, fine. I mean, you, you liked it that you much? You think cool. so? I don't know. I have not heard one person say Well, they're not going to say absolutely... anything after all the negativity. You think the negativity but, uh, intimidates them and makes them not want to say anything positive about yeah. it? You might be right. I mean, you could be, because people... They don't bit. want to be, you know, they don't want to run into that combative situation. You could be right. But, but for the guys who've seen it, Charles, what do you think? Was it a, was it worth seeing? Is it, how does it fall in place with the other movies and what's your rating on it? To me, this was, even though there are a lot of things about the very first one I didn't like, this one to me was the worst one. Out of all of them. Wow. There you go. So, what do you rate it? Two. (laughs) Well, all right. Cool. Nice. Woo. Trans, how about you? Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe due to the other four movies, I've gotten kind of numb to it. I mean, I thought that the last fight scene could have been better. The special effects were on point, but there should have been more structure or story to it. You had Optimus Prime disappear for about five fucking minutes. You're like, where did he go? To? Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, where were the Dinobots? You know, it was like the writers lost track of it. They can't even keep their origin story together, right? You know, who created them? Quintessa or the damn Q. Okay. Anyway, uh, I guess I give it about a three. Damn. All right. Um, and Russ, you haven't seen it, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I think I'm going to. Um, yeah, it it doesn't. It's not as good as the other four. Um, it. And it's sad that we've said it already, but where um, the 2007 movie is actually good, better. Yeah. It's more enjoyable. Uh, this one yeah. is, as far as just an action movie, I can't even say it's even good for that aspect just because it's so all over the place in a way uh-huh. at times. Um, yeah. I hear you. I don't like stories that are just going off of the brand and that's what's going to carry it 
Um, I, I do want something. I don't care if this is off of a kid. It's off of a kid's toy line, all that type of stuff. There needs to be some something, something for the you know for at least the adults to like. All right, this is cool. Instead of being like, oh man, my kid wants to watch this. <laughs> oh, this sucks so bad. Um, and it shouldn't be like that because it's Transformers. I mean, it should be you know whatever. But yeah. Um, I wish that the storyline was a little bit more in sync with the previous one instead of just having characters that come over. Um, I don't know where the seed went. Um, um, I don't know. I, I give it probably... See, I gave BVS a four. I would probably give this... <laughs> this is a lot more... This is more enjoyable than BVS. Um, big time. <laughs> Wait, wait, you, wait, 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 wait. You, you think this Transformers movie is more enjoyable than No, 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 no. BVS you... was more enjoyable than Oh, that. okay, okay, okay. I thought, no, I no. thought you were, I got, I got you wrong. No, All right. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of, like, I gave that movie a four, and I'm trying to, like, um, I think I gave Age of, or I give Last Night a one. God damn. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, <laughs> just because Ooh. of all the factors that are, are that we see with it one the toy line is suffering they haven't released all the toys that represent the characters in the show and they they plan on doing it but they, they haven't done it and it's taken them forever um regardless of the backlash on you know the internet and everything else just looking at it as a movie it doesn't flow um the humor is okay but it's just not it's not enough. It's not one of those movies like, oh, the humor at least carried it or something. It was, it was yeah. I had enjoyable, funny moments all the time. No. Yeah. It wasn't like over the no. top either. It was just kind of like, eh. um, and it made you question, which is sad too. Like, where are the Dinobots? Um, nah. You know, I, I like to the point, like I miss them. Where are they? Let's bring them in here and let's see something else. I want to see more robots. I want to see, something drift didn't do anything um crosshairs didn't do anything hound did some stuff but really i mean none of them really did anything optimus wasn't even in the movie that much it was bumblebee and hot rod in a way um, yeah. and even hot rod was like okay he disappeared then he came back it's like oh there he is um, and he was, and he was the guardian of Vivian. That was his job, and he was this antique-looking car that she drove around. And then she, he um, did the same thing in like 2007, where you know uh, Michaela's like, "Why do you ride? Why is he transforming this piece of shit?" So she said she didn't say like piece of shit, but it's like, "Oh, why are you doing?" Oh, she liked that Lamborghini that drove by, and she's like, "Oh," and then he trans, he um, scanned that, and he became that. So. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it was the sub a transformer. I think it was, but it never transformed. It, yeah, they they said it was, but it, it never did anything. Yeah, it didn't do anything either. I mean, they went to this huge ship that they didn't really like under the water. Like they didn't like, I don't know, explain more. Um, that this is where they buried Merlin's staff. Oh God! And then we did get to see Sam Witwicky on the little wall of Witwickies. Of uh, Witwickies, yeah. he's 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 just in the, <laughs> the the family line of Witwickies. Well, he's there is part of this whole yeah. like um, it, the Burton family and the Witwickies are something that are the ones that <coughs> trust the whole Transformer secret and all. Oh, it's kind of uh, crap. Right. I don't know. It was just. Kind of far fetched. Um, yeah. And, it, and, and uh, the one was was long lost the Senate of Merlin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, enough of that. I don't want to keep dogging on it. But um, <laughs> do you think that they need to continue this story and trying to rectify it and make it better, <clears throat> put it on the right track, or do you think they should just start over? I think they should reboot it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully to get better now that they Cool. Yeah. I yeah. think so too. And get some different writers too. Yeah. 
I enjoyed G.I. Joe. Both of them. The live action movies more than this movie. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sad. Yeah. I, yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, I, I think that they, you know, once you've done, what, well, this is the fifth one they've done that, right? So this is the fifth one. Yeah. You've done this many. It's been 10 years. Come on. Look at them. They rebooted Spider Man really quick, you know? So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, so you can, like- I mean, you can. Yeah, you can easily do this now. You can reboot this, and they could maybe same do thing something. with Batman and Superman and all that. Sure. Yeah. Yep. And yep. I know some some uh, websites are saying, "Well, there's more Bumblebee in this because they're trying to like promote his new individual movie that's be, right. going to be coming out." But that's that's a cop out. Oh, yeah, right. I don't know. Yeah. Because, but then how do you explain Bumblebee being in all the other movies? Were they promoting Bumblebee's movie from like ten years ago? <laughs> I don't like his. He miraculously had his voice. Like, yeah, they so was, were was physically he... altering him in the beginning to get him to have his voice back, and he ripped out that voice cog that he yeah. sounded like Siri. So uh, it's like yeah. he shouldn't have the capacity physically to be able to do it if he doesn't have that. The mechanics there, but hey, yeah. uh, I don't know. Yeah, it almost, it almost, it it almost made you think that, like, during when he was fighting Prime, that maybe Prime, when Prime kept ripping stuff off, that maybe he hit something. I don't know. It just <laughs> it's like where Prime's a doctor that caused his voice. Yeah, it's like maybe I don't know. It's I, like okay, I, I I've seen that. I've seen that scene, that fight scene, and I've seen what. Oh, yeah. we'll be fine. When we all sudden can all sudden speaks and says, "It's me, your old friend." And, and yeah. I was like, "Bumblebee." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit is so stupid looking, man. Like, get out of here, man. And then how? And let me ask you: I was like, Prime is pretty, usually pretty damn deadly with that sword. You're trying to tell me he kept missing Bumblebee's head with the sword? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 He, Kate is up there, you know, and he's avoiding the big ass sword too. I was like, "Come on, man, get out of here!" <laughs> it took only one swipe though of his sword to take out Infernicus when they were in their individual yeah. modes. He beheaded right. all of them. So yeah. wow, one, so he's one that, big swipe that deadly with a sword, but yet he he seems to be unable to hit Bumblebee's head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. I don't know, man. It's it's just some dumb bullshit, dude. I, I like you said, Jane Vame, you could pick we could pick the you could pick this movie apart all day probably. And I ain't even seen the movie. I've just yeah. seen some scenes from the movie and I and what I saw I was like, Ugh, this is terrible. <laughs> you could probably tear it apart and it yeah. I think they need to redo it. <laughs> I think they've ruined it. I don't think they can go any I don't think they can go forward with this. I think they no, ruined I think he ruined, ruined it. Um so if they're going to do more Transformers down the road, they need to do a hard reboot and maybe maybe change the look of them a little bit. Maybe maybe you know maybe start maybe go toward a more I don't want to say a G one look, but maybe closer to a G one look. Yeah, yeah. Where I don't. Have, uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't and I don't. I don't mean like exactly G one, but a little bit more. Um, I don't know. A little more. Make them a little more recognizable. To, yeah, to, to, to Transformer fans. I mean, yeah, so, I could see that. I think some characters are unrecognizable. Yes, me too. I agree. There's some characters I couldn't. If you wouldn't have told me their name, I wouldn't have known that's who they were. You know, yeah, a lot yeah. of them. I mean, it, it's, uh, what should it's they, terrible. I think that before anything, um, if they're thinking about a live act, which, man, I wish that they didn't do so poorly on this because. We all thought Unicron was coming. We thought right. the big yeah. guy was going to be Unicron. And it's like, okay, finally, we're going to see Unicron yeah. live action. All right, cool, cool, cool. See how it plays out. But no, it's like stringing us along. And now if they do reboot it, we're not going to see Unicron, which might wow. be a good thing. Might be a good right. thing. That's it's, it's probably just devastating the Earth anyways if we want to see it transform and everything else. Or it's going to get kind of weird and yeah. be like Transformers Prime where it's just a separate mm-hmm. entity that he can spawn out of him yeah. or whatever. But instead yeah. of a live action, I think it, it has to go like a CGI movie. Um, I'm not talking like total cartoon, but like like Final Fantasy 
you know, the CGI yeah. type of that, um, like the Halo Reach, Fall of Reach, you know, something that, okay, reintroduce the characters, give them a, a modern look, um, but you won't have to worry about having it look bionicle or knight. Get away from the whole right. knight. Yeah. Uh, all this sword play and Camelot bullshit and just let's work on that. But yeah, this is my thing. I think I think I think that they um need to do something to try to get back all the the fans that you originally tried to appeal to from the first movie, yet, right? Yeah. And now I think you've lost a lot. You've lost them. You've lost the vast majority of them now. And now you've got to, if you're going to do any further movies, you need to do something hardcore to get them back. And I think that, I think that's why they need to reboot it. Otherwise, yeah. can be done with it. Cause I don't know how, how well has this thing done in the theater so far? I don't think it's done that well. I don't think. No. I think it, Cause, you know. <laughs> Cause when I, cause when I went, there was only maybe five other people in the theater. Yeah. See, I, when, um, when Dust and all the guys went to see it together um, at that at that the toy con they went to last weekend, they said that there was like very little people, and it was mo- mostly the theater was them, you know. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, that that's 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 kind of a bad sign too. If they don't, yeah. if the movie doesn't do well, what's going to make them want to go further and do more? You know, go forward to do more of them. I mean, it's. You know. Bad. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. So that's that's what we're talking about today, and that's what we did. So um, hopefully people enjoyed it. Again, I know we we kind of ragged on the last night, but honestly, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not that great wrong. of a movie. I mean, it's just <laughs> yeah. not something that I was hoping for, and it was hyped up like all the rest of them, and it just yeah. kind of failed. Um, oh, that's cool. Um so other than that, anything else you guys want to talk about, or we just call it quits? Nah, uh, we can, we can, we can, we can. Yeah, call it we can lay okay. like call it. All right, All right, so let's do some outros here. Charles, where are you? Uh, on Twitter and Instagram at Optimus Four Press. Cool. Russ, uh, what's up, guys? You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um. I'm known to put up a video or two on occasion. <laughs> two. <laughs> or one. I need to, I need to do what I, I think I need to go see this movie just so I can have a good rant video. <laughs> <laughs> I can just and, do, it, do it and just kirk out, you know? And I'll be looking forward to that one. Yeah, I think I should. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. But yeah, this, it should be a good time. I think I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be. I want to be longer than M goes. Oh man! Oh, dude, I saw that. I kind of got aggravated with that. I was like, "You douche!" Because then he like left it dark for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Whatever, man. Does he thought that was funny? <laughs> cool. Trans, where can people find you? At? Find me at Twitter. I'm sorry. Find me at Twitter. Instagram and Facebook at Transbot. Sweet. And for me, you can find me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Victory Saber 77. Don't forget the Cool Table Network. Check out all the shows, five star ratings on iTunes. Um, like and subscribe. Um, it helps us out. And um, don't forget the ETR show this Monday for the scavenger hunt giveaway of a titan's return fortress maximus the rules are you must follow him on instagram you must be a subscriber on youtube and you must be part of the facebook group this is all at realm of collectors and um and there's posts within those different um mediums to know what you need to do for the scavenger hunt and you have to be in the live chat on monday which is at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Realm of Collectors the YouTube channel. So that's it. Um, have a great 4th of July for those who are celebrating. Um, it's, it's Tuesday. And uh, stay safe. And um, have an, 
enjoyable weekend. Yeah, and nobody blow their fingers off. God. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to blow your fingers off, please document it. We all yeah, have these little phones yeah, up. Yeah, make sure it's on video. Because <laughs> at least you're not like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even get that on YouTube. Yeah, that's, so. that's a good point, actually. It's, we can be amused by it. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Cool. But no, yeah, d- d- don't do not do that. Um, <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> I heard on Plastic Fanatics they wanted me to videotape this, and oh, look at me. I got no index finger. I uh, intentionally did it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, all right. I guess that's it. I don't know. Just trying to come up with something else to say. Uh, adios, guys. Uh, yeah, adios. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. See you later, everyone.